Welcome and a happy birthday to you Capricorns. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful lives, shares, and support. So Capricorns, um, that is born um, 11 January on till the 17th. Um, I want to say thank you for being here. Um, this is your solar year reading. Now, it is wonderful because your stability is very, very good. Um, it is really, really wonderful. Whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, your stability is extremely, extremely good. Okay. So, um, this year is as if you're going to be creating stability in your world and you're going to be having the help in order to create the stability, um, in your world. It is not a bad year. Um, only the people who were born on the 11th, you're going to be dealing with some sort of a issue um, that is going to be coming up that has to do with uh, other people and their deceptiveness. So, now, the Wheel of Fortune is here. So for the people who were born 11, 12, 13, 14 of January, there is going to be some sort of a complication. Um, the Wheel of Fortune um, is here and it has something to do with work. And I see you are going to be collaborating with others in order to create some sort of a, um, happiness. Okay. So I see victory and success is in reverse. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is bringing back some sort of an instability when it comes to money work. And there is some sort of an influence in some sort of a situation that is going on around you people who were born under 14. Justice is here against a corporation institution. And I see some love is going to be offered to you because of some sort of a instability and some sort of a, a problem that a corporation institution, because justice came up on this corporation institution because they have realized what this corporation institution has done. I see love is going to be offered to a whole lot of you, a new start of new love, some of you. Could be starting over um, with a Pisces Cancer Scorpion could be returning in your life. You could be starting over. Some of you, this person is protecting themselves from you or you're protecting yourself from them. So what a year. It is not going to be a bad year, to be honest. Um, you have the center of the Wheel of Fortune in the middle. So it's uh, absolutely not going to be a bad year. So um, whatever is going on, um, gaze on the image, find which day you were born, and that is going to be helping you in order to um, balance some sort of uh, understanding of what you're going to be having. All of you will basically have, um, as you know how the readings go, especially for the soul of your readings, the soul of your readings is based on all of the issues that is going to be coming up in this year. So if you start on the 11th of January, all the issues that is going to be coming up on the 11th of January is going to be showing up in your world. Okay, so be aware of that. So you start with the 11th of January and then you are going to be working it down. Okay, so... Be aware of that. So, um, if you were born on the 14th of January, you begin the 14th. Um, so, this would be um, the solar year after your birthday. So, January, February, March, April, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. They, you know, that's how um, you are going to be working it until you get... Uh, to the end and resolve whatever is going on okay so let's go in this reading ladies and gentlemen please remember um that uh, um you have to also look at your weekly readings okay this is the solar year for the people from the 11th until the 17th but you need to also look at your weekly readings your weekly readings is going to be telling you what is coming up in the other week. This is your year reading. Come back each month to um, look and see what is coming up. This is why I advise people, you need to have a year reading or a um, birthday reading because then you see the full scope of the solar chart. Then you see what is coming up in your 12 houses. 
it's not too late to have a year reading or a solar reading. You guys are born in January, okay? So let's get in and see what is transpiring. So we have the energy of the devil for the people. Um, you're going to be dealing with some sort of uh, uh, relationship problems um, in the month of uh, uh, in this year. This year that is coming up right after your birthday, going back to your um, next birthday in 2022. You're going to be dealing with some sort of a relationship problems or problems with your siblings, your sisters, your brother, family members. But whatever is happening and transpiring, I see you have a strong foundation. So people who are born on the 11th, you're working on duality. You always work on duality. And you need to find out um, what is this year, um, what energy this year is bringing you. Because as you know, what year, what energy this year is bringing you, where you can add up the number of the year and find out the energy that this year is bringing you, you will be uh, um, aware of who and what is transpiring. So this could be family member. This could be also contracts. This could be relationships. This could be marriage. So this um, energy and form is coming up to let you know that these are the things that you're going to be have to deal with from um, the 11th after your birthday, the 12th of January till the 11th of January 2022. And you're going to be working also the rest of these energies month by month and see where you come back when December. Uh, so this, 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 this energy is coming up as a, emotional situation but you're standing strong okay so let's say that uh, people have been walking over you for quite a very long time this is the year that you're going to be saying no um this is where it stop no i am balancing out the situation i'm going to take back my power i am going to be dealing with things differently no this is where it stops so Whatever that is happening and transpiring, this is where you're going to be realizing that uh, um, you are really standing your ground and uh, not taking BS from no one and realizing that uh, this is the time that you need to take back your power. It's as if some of you were giving away your power for uh, quite a long time. And you're going to be realized it is time for you to take back your power. And this is going to be a very good year. Loving yourself is also going to be coming up because a lot of you have been giving away your powers to other people. And now you're going to be learning to start to love yourself and balance out your own energies, your own power, understanding what to do, where to do and where to go and what is transpiring and being aware that um, it is time for you to recapitulate. And this is going to be good. So I see a lot of you are going to be healing uh, um, art breaks, healing problems, healing situation. And this is going to be good. Then as we move forward, we are looking at the people who were born under 12. It is a year of a new start. Um, it is a year where you are going to be receiving um, some sort of a new start. You're going on a journey. And whatever that was uh, interfering with you moving forward is now going to be removed and i see the sword of truth that um is standing up so it's as if um something that was blocking some of you sometimes you're not even aware that you're blocked sometimes you are you want to move forward but it's as if you have blockages and there was some sort of a negative energy um that was affecting you guys, a whole lot of negative energy that was affecting you guys. And I see that this is going to be coming to an end. So if you notice, um, you guys wanted a new start, maybe with a relationship. Um, you wanted to regain balance with a relationship. Um, it is not a very victorious start. Um, so you have to realize that it's okay. I give it time. Okay, so... A lot of you could want to um, rebalance a situation, rebalance a relationship and uh, um, get a new start. And you realize that this is not going to be happening. And whatever th that was influencing you from this relationship, sometimes we are blocked. It could be a new contract. 
it could be some sort of a new contract that you wanted for some sort of a start with a business with work or so there was some sort of a influences that was influencing you but whatever is transpire you're going to be realizing that you're going to be overcoming this situation okay um there was a sort of a energy where someone was trying to create some sort of a situation because you wanted to reconnect with uh, another person but uh, um the influence is now over and obviously the other person doesn't want to let it go i see you're going to be communicating this very clearly i see you make a clear communication and you are setting um balance in your world you're using the sword of truth in the correct way this is an air energy where you're connect correcting and you're communicating very very careful and because of that that is what is going to be giving some of you a brand new start okay uh, a lot of you are going to be overcoming some sort of an issue and problems that was created at work you can see this that you're going to be overcoming them and you are going to be get, receiving a new start moving forward new contracts could be coming up new relationships um, um if there was a friendship uh, problems with friendship uh, um, it is going to be uh, over and renewed. So this is wonderful. So congratulations. So now, as we go to the people that was born on the 13th, um, 13 is not a bad number, people. It is a four. Um, so 13 is that just that you work on two energies, transition and uh, um the angels okay so you are really protected and guided by angels so the people who were born on the 13th you have justice justice overcoming some sort of a, a um horrible thing that was created in your world and you're justified if you notice you have two six two six six of one six of uh, um six of um a sword now the six of swords it's not a nice energy. An end is coming into a situation um, that is transpiring. Um, people are now seeing a situation with a company, a house, a business. People are now really finding out and seeing the truth about this company. It's as if people are now realizing um, that a company or a house they're really finding out the truth okay so some of you could have have work issues and I see if you had a um, take your employer employee um, um, to uh, to court or that sort of a thing you're going to be winning and winning big okay what is happening here is that um, a, a fire sign first to try to influence a situation but it did not work because I see justice came down. So whoever this fire sign person is and whatever that was happening and transpiring, they try to influence the situation. And if you notice, justice is now seeing the truth of a corporation institution. And justice is also going to be helping people who had legal issues with work or people didn't pay you, you do your work, people didn't pay you. Justice is going to be coming in and is going to be realizing exactly what was happening and transpiring okay and i see they're going to be offering you love because they realize that um you were treated unfair and justice is going to be coming in and it's going to be showing up and people are going to be realizing that you guys were treated unfair so if you notice what is transpiring is that you're coming in in the first half of the year where things is going to be um the truth is coming out about a house or workplace or or an apartment or a situation where some of you were involved with a group of people and this is always a situation of work a bank financial institution they're going to be finding out about this bank and financial institution and is going to be realizing the working and how these people work if you notice eight and eight so some of you infinity wisdom abundance is going to be coming up for you but you end you're going to be ending the year where love is going to be offered to you because of some sort of a imbalanced situation that was created okay and then when we look at the center um there was some sort of a um um dishonest play 
that they're going to be finding out that as transpiring, they're going to be ending this dishonest this play that was transpiring in your world or around you, okay? Because this is your year reading. So it is going to be a good year. You have 88 and you have also um, 6. Now six um, 66 is materialistic wealth. That is going to be good for you. I see that this company or this organization could be have to um, pain some of you out okay and this is why I said to people always order a year reading or a monthly reading in order to see that all right we're moving on to the people who were born on the 14th of January you have the energy of karma karma is here for you guys in this uh, um, m um, year so the wheel of fortune a whole lot of karma and the karma has to do with some of you were hoping for some sort of a good news um, from a legal situation, it is not going to be happening for you guys that was born on the 14. Whatever situation that you guys have gotten yourself in, it is a karmatic situation where you were expecting to get out of a situation. But I see um, you're trying to, you know, speak yourself out of a situation, but it's as if they have too much information on you. And um, it, it is a situation that... Uh, Whatever is happening and transpiring, they have a lot of information on you. So if you are a lawyer or you are a uh, having some sort of a um, legal issues, legal problems, that sort of a situation, um, you know the information that they have on you. That is what is what they're going to be using against uh, um, you. For the rest of you, it's going to be beautiful. The rest of you, some sort of an injustice, you're going to be standing your ground to some sort of an injustice and show up the truth as what has been happening and transpiring. So um, the energy of the four of pentacles is here. And um, I see um, you, um, you work is going to be playing a significant role but i say a lot of you are going to be collaborating with other people and this is going to be good so whatever that was happening and transpiring you're going to be really really collaborating um with other people in order to create a, some sort of a, a huge um stability for yourself and um work wise is going to be if you notice the energy of work is so uh, it's as if some of you could be hoping and trying to find work in this year or creating your own a sort of a business. Okay, so what we see is communication. Any sort of a commu work communication is going to be very good for people who communicate with a voice or um, write that sort of a thing or create, um, do creative project. That is going to be a good year. For the rest of you, it's going to be like a little tingling off cast year. So be aware of this. Um, what is going to be transpiring um, and because uh, there is going to be some sort of a half uh, horse tingling of the year. So be aware of this. So we are moving on to the people um, who was born on um, the 15th. If you were born on the 15th of January, you're dealing with a corporation institution in this year. Now, Whatever is transpiring, I see some of you could be walking away from a job, walking away from a corporation institution, standing your ground, taking your powers back, ending and moving on to a new, new um, a stability. OK, I see that they're going to be realizing that a, a cancer have created a whole lot, a cancer man, whoever this cancer man is, um, I've created a whole lot of problems. And they're going to be um, trying to resolve this situation and it's going to be bringing a balance. So a lot of you could have been dealing and it's going to be dealing with a whole lot of emotional situation at work. You can see that coming up. A lot of you work is going to be ending for you. Whatever that is happening in transpire work is definitely going to be ending for some of you. Then we see the energy of the four of pentacles. A lot of you are going to be starting to create so you could become freelancer, you could uh, um, decide to manage and create your own business. So that is also very, very wonderful and very positive. 
four of power is in the reverse so you're not hiding anything you are showing your hands hey this is what i have um i'm not hiding anything and i see that the wheel of fortune could be bringing um back a lot of you a whole lot of money unexpected money um that you should have received they're going to be realizing that you didn't receive this money and they're going to be making sure that this money was returned to you the ace of cups is the deal um i see that um it could be some of you that a corporation institution is going to be asking you to come on board because they realize that you know a lot you can balance out a whole lot of issues that they have been dealing with for quite some time and understanding um, some sort of a new sort of a stability that is going to be coming up and you are going to be really um, alive with who you are and I see love is going to be shown to a lot of you from some sort of a corporation institution because you could stand up um, for them okay then I see the Four of Cups. The energy of the Four of Cups is very, very powerful. Um, because what is happening is that there was some sort of an emotional situation with work. Let it go because you are balancing this out. You're understanding. You are really, really realizing what was happening and what was transpiring. And now I see people are going to be really offering you love and is going to be really trying to help you you guys out in order to open up doors of opportunities so i say situation with work that some of you had regret let it go um because something better is going to be coming in some of you are going to be creating your own wealth by creating um better um situation for you in your life the wheel of fortune is going to be coming back and is going to be giving some of you some sort of a um huge break and this is going to be wonderful so congratulations we're moving on to the people who were born on um the 16th you have the energy of the hermit the energy of the hermit is uh, um coming up and showing you how to create your own wealth and stability in this year and this is very wonderful because what this transpiring is that it is going to be giving you the strength a lot of you um what was happening is that uh, um the hermit was showing you and this this is just so powerful because the hermit is coming in and is showing you how to create your own wealth how to balance out your own materialistic stability how to create and take back your power by working for yourself creating your own wealth creating your own um stability in your world and understanding um what was going on around you and creating money for yourself and and you know you are going to be one of these people who is going to be alert and it's all about you saving okay so some of you uh, you you haven't been saving it's about you're going to be start saving you're going to be start getting so much business in some of you are going to be thinking jesus i've been working at this place having the same salary it is better that i start working for myself and because you do that so what is going to be happening and transpiring is that the universe is going to be basically opening up for you a new sense of stability and this is going to be absolutely fantastic because it is going to be um changing a whole um a whole um sense of stability for you that is going to be bringing you um a whole lot of uh, the set um creative endeavor so sometimes um people sometimes people are really really um going to be um aligned in such a powerful way in order to understand um the changes of life and this is what you're going through and i see the hermit is going to be coming in so you're working with the energy of the hermit the hermit is number nine and uh, what it is doing it is helping you to exhilarate and to protect yourself from negative uh, situation and create your own financial wealth okay 
a lot of you who had regrets about a work or a project or regrets about not connecting with someone a new start is going to be coming in so be aware of that okay so whatever that was happening and transpiring and you had some sort of a regret in the past about a business a contract a relationship a friendship let it go because a new start is going to be coming in for you um not maybe not with the um person that you wanted to connect with but with someone who is going to be very very much better and someone who is going to be um very much aligned with you and uh, show you the right way so this is going to be a good year remember that each and every person is going to be working all the energies on this uh, this is a cycle okay it's accumulation of reading so you 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 um you, you get all the energies that is coming up but that's just, uh, just in a different month and this is the reason why you need to um look at your own reading so you know exactly what is coming up in that month when to change job when to apply for something okay um and where your money is in this year because it's when i do it I do it really it's extended it's like a hour and a half but you get all the information bowl by bowl per month okay then we're looking at the people who were born on the 17 now this is a year where you're hanging in limbo waiting for a relationship hoping for love yes it's going to be coming in okay um, this is really powerful because uh, um, as you wait in limbo as you try to facilitate and create uh, you're waiting in limbo, waiting in limbo. And by waiting in limbo, I see you're going to be standing up for yourself. Okay, the Four of Cups is as if I've been through a lot of stuff. I am so emotional, but yet still I'm taking back, learning self-love and stand up for myself. By doing that, that could um, create some sort of a new sort for you. And this is going to be good. Um, then I see um, you're open. You're open to communicate with a, a it's new love. It's as if, because the Prince of Cups is between the ages of 18 and 45. And this person is that you're open um, for some sort of a reconnection. So people who are born on the 17th of January, you are open for some sort of a communication, some sort of a connection with this um with this um person and this person is coming up as a pisces cancer or a scorpion now a corporation institution is realizing that someone a cancer whoever this cancer is a cancer man in a corporation have created a whole lot of problems and they're going to be realizing what this cancer man has done and how this cancer man has created a whole lot of issue in order to um, throw people um, off off key off balance and they're going to be finding out wow it is going to be a beautiful year ladies and gentlemen there's no question about it this year is going to be extremely powerful they're going to be finding out of a lot of things that was happening and transpiring and it's going to be um, aware of uh, um, problems issues situation um, that was happening and you are going to be this person that is going to be creating some form of stability okay so when we look at long-term stability I see um, um, some of you who have business that is um, you're using your sort of truth and taking down you're ending some sort of a corrupt collaboration that was going on love is going to be coming to you and a lot of you could receive a new start with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion person. If you, um, maybe this is your son, um, maybe this is a family member, whoever this person is, I see a lot of you could be receiving some sort of a new start with this person in this year. So maybe it's a lover that left uh, and returned, or it is a child that uh, um, there was no connection with and that sort of a thing, and I see it that is going to be happening where um this is going to be resolved or where people are going to be finding out um how people had created a whole lot of issue around some of you your kids so 
your relationship, but I see this person, whoever this person is, it's a Pisces Cancer, a Scorpion person, that you are going to be having some sort of a new start with um, as you move out of this year, okay? So, wonderful reading. I love you guys. Please remember you um, where your reading is. Um, I have to do a timestamp, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I got to go. Please share, share, share these birthday readings. Namaste. Welcome, Aquarians. This is the second week of the year, 2021. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. All right, Aquarians, um, what is happening and transpiring um, in uh, this week? It's all about uh, savings, your savings, money, that sort of a situation that is going to be coming up and is going to be aligning with your energy. It's all about work and money that is going to be happening and transpiring. Some of you, they're going to be finding out about... Uh, a whole lot of money that a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn have taken that you're going to be finding out. Um, they are finding out a whole lot of uh, problems, issues that is going to be coming up with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person between the age of 18 and 45. Then we see also the energy of... Uh, uh, the energy of uh, um, some sort of abundancy um, that was supposed to be coming in. So um, what we realize is that uh, something about money is going to be coming out about <gasps> the a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion man, whoever this man is, whoever this person is, uh, a whole lot of money. Some sort of information is going to be coming out about this man. This man could be a businessman. It could be a father. It could be a family member. It could be a relative. But some sort of information is going to be coming out. The energy of the Three of Cups is no success for this person. This person has to pay out a whole lot of money. They have realized uh, the play that this person have made and created. And I see that some sort of a resolution is going to be coming in. Because they're going to be adjusting the situation. So what is happening and transpiring is that some of you, there's something about a business, a work, and a whole lot of money that should have come to you, Aquarian, or a whole lot of money that you, Aquarian, has worked together with um, two people in order to create uh, some sort of a um, business or some sort of a opportunity. So, now, what we see here is the worries is going to be over about your work and about a, a young man. This man is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. It's coming up as a Virgo man. Whoever this Virgo man is or this Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person, they're going to be finding out um, something about this man and a whole lot of money. Okay? And they're going to be realizing that this man has worked together with a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion man um, to create a lot of problems. And they're going to be finding out what was happening and transpiring. The Three of Cups is in reverse in this uh, week and some sort of a situation between you and a Taurus Virgo and a Capricorn is going to be coming out. Some sort of a problem, some sort of a situation. And you're going to be overcoming this situation. Is it your partner? Is it your friend? Who is this person? And what exactly had happened and transpired. So I see where is a lot of um, financial worries is going to be um, coming up for uh, some of you Aquarian in this week. Remember to check the link below this video to see where um, your video lays in um, the reading. Because it's one video and it is good for you to cross watch. It's easier for you to cross watch. So... Six of Cups um, is the energy of emotions, emotional situation with friends. Some of you could have lent out money to friends and you can't collect it. And you're having some sort of an emotional situation with your friends and money. I see you're going to be overcoming some sort of a financial hardship that you were going through. Um, people are going to be finding out what was happening and transpiring. Your wishes and dream is going to be coming true. 
and your financial hardship is going to be over because people have realized that some sort of a play that was transpiring. They're finding out the truth. Your worries is going to be over. Whoever was having some sort of a problem with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion person, they're going to be finding out that this person had created some sort of a criminal offense. The 10 of, with a whole lot of money, they're going to be finding out that this man has took a whole lot of money that was not his and you didn't ask him to do it. The truth is coming out and I see um, a whole lot of you are going to be overcoming a cancer man. Whoever this cancer man is, this could be a cancer man at the workplace. They're realizing the lies and deceptiveness of a cancer man and what a cancer man have done. So it could be your ex boss or someone at the work floor that have created a whole lot of issue. They are going to be finding out how a scorpion man and a cancer man, a scorpion and a cancer businessman, how they have created um, problems and the, the connections between these people. So you have to be aware who is this. Now, some of you could be dealing with your parents. If your mother is a Aries Leo or a Sagittarius, um, you could be um, connecting with them because of something. Your mother and your mother's partner. Um, you're going to be finding out the lies of your mother and your mother partner. Truth is coming out and people are going to be recognizing the lies and deceptiveness of a fire sign woman and a, a scorpion man and a cancer man, what they have done and how they have created huge, huge problem and created some sort of a horrible, deceptive play. Truth is coming out. People are going to be finding out about a whole lot of money, a whole lot of money that some of you should have gotten, a whole lot of money that a Pisces man has stolen, um, and this money is going to be returned to you. So this is going to be good. So um, some of you maybe did not know who had taken this money. Um, it is, and it was a Pisces man who have took a whole lot of money and have created a whole lot of problem. The money will return to you, okay? So what we see here is definitely um, um, problems that is coming up and is, is, is transpiring. It has to do with a scorpion man, um, cancer man, and... Uh, um, a uh, Taurus of, and a Virgo, a Taurus and a Virgo. Now, this Taurus and this Virgo is between the age of 18 and 45. But the uh, Cancer Man um, and the Scorpion Man, they are businessmen. Whoever these people are, they have collaborated together in order to work against some of you. And you're going to be finding this out. Truth is coming out. A whole lot of truth is coming out. A whole lot of information is here. People are seeing the collaboration. A whole lot of people are now finding out uh, some dishonest play of a um, Aries Lee or Sagittarius woman. This woman could some be your mom. Or some of you is your mother and your partner or your mother and their partner. And people are seeing the disruptiveness and the lies of these people. Truth is going to be coming out. A whole lot of information is going to be coming out about a whole lot of money. It could be some of you that was in partnership with this lady or this lady could have been. Um, this lady is coming up as a, a mother, a sister and a whole lot of money or someone you were in some sort of a business with. I see that they are finding out a whole lot of information that this lady was connected um, to a Capricorn and a Capricorn, a Virgo man and a, um, a Taurus man. And they're realizing some sort of a connection with this lady and how much this lady has took and how this lady gained um, money. So, ladies and gentlemen, Aquarians, this week is going to be a week where the golden mirror, self-absorbent, is uh, not you, but other people, okay? The butterfly 
So the self-absorbent is a fire sign woman. Whoever this fire sign woman is, the self-absorbed, um, this woman is just connected and it's all about money for this lady. And if you notice, for some of you, it's going to be a friend, a girlfriend. And if you notice, um, who, whoever has a friend that is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius person, I see truth is going to be coming out about this woman and a whole lot of money. How this woman um, got a whole lot of money. How this woman um, have wealth and is holding on on this wealth. And people were not even aware because it's as if this lady is your friend or this lady is your mom or this lady is uh, um, someone who you do business with. And this lady took a lot of money and you were not aware of it. And it is now coming out. Then we look at you being successfully um, overcoming some sort of a financial hardship you were in. People are now realizing and seeing what was transpiring. They are now seeing that a cancer man has created some sort of a financial hardship for you. And this cancer man um, have to pay you a whole lot of money. Whoever this cancer man is, they're going to be coming down on a cancer man to pay you a whole lot of money for the problems that he has caused you. This man, um, they're going to be realizing what this man has done. And this man has to pay you a whole lot of money. So if you notice, whatever is happening, is this your husband? Is this your father? Is this your ex-boss? Because it has something to do with a whole lot of money that this man took. Or this man should have paid you a whole lot of money and has not done it. And this man together um, with a fire sign woman and Aries Leo or Sagittarius along with a young um, Capricorn man and a young Taurus man has created some sort of an issue and problem and they're realizing what they have done. So a lot of you could be your mom, but it could be a friend, it could be a haunt who have took a lot of money and they're finding out that this person has took a lot of money, held on to this money for themselves and truth is going to be coming out. I see your wishes and dreams is going to be coming through because you're now realizing the real deceptive play of this man. If you notice, there's a double energy. You are dealing with a scorpion man. You're dealing with a cancer man and a Pisces man. And they are realizing that a Pisces man has took money on the false pretend. No one has asked this man to take this money. This man was very deceptive. Whoever the Pisces man is, I see they're going to be finding out that the Pisces businessman has created a whole lot of problems, whoever the Pisces businessman is. And um, if it is your partner, there is going to be some sort of a resolution. Um, let's say that your partner was fired or your partner contract is not extended. They're going to be finding out that a cancer is the one that has created, a cancer man is the one that has created some sort of a problem for your partner if it's your partner your husband um they're going to be finding out uh, that some sort of a financial hardship was created by a cancer man and they're going to be finding out the lies and deceptiveness of a cancer man and i see a whole lot of you aquarians your wishes and dream is going to be coming true that they have found out what this pisces what they have done to a pisces man and the truth is now coming out then we see the energy for um this this is a double energy so a lot of you have uh, are dealing with uh, pisces cancer and scorpion men I, I, whether or not they're 50 years and older you're dealing with this group of people in this week and you have to be aware of what is happening and transpire is are they your partner or your they your boss is, is there your father Try and figure out uh, how these people connect to you and your world. Because whatever is happening and transpiring, um, truth is going to be coming out uh, <clears throat> about these people and the collaboration. Okay, So it could be um, some of you, your brother, some of you, your husband, some of you, your partner. But these people have created some sort of a, a false act. Uh, in some way and truth is going to be coming out so if we notice you're going to be victorious and successful over an Aries Lee or a Sagittarius person at the workplace 
or someone that had collaborated and work against you um they're going to be finding out a whole lot of money that this person has taken a whole lot of money and they're going to be finding out that this person has been very dishonest and has been lying how um they come by the money truth is going to be coming out and your wishes and dream is going to be fulfilled because the financial hardship is definitely going to be over then we see some of you are dealing with a friend or a family member that owe you a lot of money this person is a fire sign person they're going to be realizing that this woman has took a whole lot of money and have not repay you money that was supposed to come to you aquarians and i see truth is going to be coming out because a whole lot of information is coming out about this woman that this woman at the workplace has took a lot of money or money that was supposed to be so it could be your mother that your father died your mother was left a whole lot of money never give it to you it could be an aunt who have took a whole lot of money that was supposed to be for you aquarians but whoever this person is if you're missing money is an aries Leo, or sagittarius person who has uh, took money money from your business money from your project money that you should have had um to start a project and move on they're going to be she you know they're going to be realizing that this woman and work with a pisces cancer scorpion because they're finding out the lies and deceptiveness of these people okay and yet they're going to be finding out uh, that whoever this uh, pisces cancer scorpion man is uh, um is a businessman that try to work with other people um in order to create a whole lot of financial hardship for you and the truth is now out and people are seeing the truth so i see a whole lot of you are going to be overcoming also um a taurus man whoever the taurus man is and whatever the taurus man has done truth is coming out about a taurus man and they're going to be realizing that a fire sign person an aries Leo, or sagittarius woman had paid um a taurus man a whole lot of money um to do something or they had worked together and created some sort of a situation that has created a whole lot of money for them and people are starting to see the link to the play that has transpired so ladies and gentlemen it is going to be a week a week where a lot of you are going to be finding out some sort of an imbalance and some sort of a horrible play that was created and this play has to do with a lot of money but at the end of the day i see the energy of a replenishing is going to be coming in healing is going to be coming in because uh, it's as if people are now finding out uh, and realizing uh, the working of these people so um with the situation whoever was dealing with some sort of an issue with friends you're going to be victoriously successfully overcoming these people and what they have done a lot of you had some sort of an issue with a pisces man it's all going to be coming out um how they have worked against the pisces man at the workplace um then we see a cancer man have to pay a lot of you a lot of money because they realize that this cancer man is the one that has created a whole lot of problem a scorpion man also have to pay a whole lot of you some money for some sort of a project for using your information accessing your information they found out that these three men has not been honest especially the cancer and the pisces man at work together and has not been honest and they are going to be finding out what has happened and what is transpired secrets is coming out about uh, some sort of a um um move that people had create secrets about the money that um some of you aquarians should have gotten from either a business or a project and uh, people have took this money this fire sign person pretend uh, um to be some of you or you're going to be finding out that you're in business with this fire sign person and truth is now coming out about this fire sign person and what this fire sign person has done and how this fire sign woman 
as use our powers in the wrong way in order to accumulate a lot of money and a spade, a Taurus man, a whole lot of money in order to change some sort of information and documentation. Um, our has taken a lot of money on the false pretend. It is all coming out and they're realizing the really deceptiveness of a uh, Aries Leo or Sagittarius woman, a Pisces Cancer man, a Cancer man and a Pisces man and how they have uh, created some sort of uh, a financial hardship for you guys. It is a group of people that has created. Now the truth is coming out. Your worries is going to be over. 99 is your energy that is coming up in this week. It is good. And a lot of you are going to be dealing with uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, man, be aware of this. At your work, I can see with a business and a project, I can see. So be aware of these people. They're going to be finding out how um, a Scorpion man, and um, it could be your mom for some of you. Some of you is could be a supervisor. Some of you could be friends. How these people had created and work against a lot of you secrets are coming out about a cancer they're finding how self absorbed a cancer is and i see the end you're going to be coming out and coming out on top so this is wonderful i gotta go please remember um you have to use the link in order to find out who is this cancer who is this pisces cancer or scorpion man and um who is this fireside lady Use the link, go and look at the Aries, the or Sagittarius, are these people connected to you? How are these people connected to you? Then you're going to be finding out uh, the Oriba, um secrets that they have kept because uh, secrets is coming out. And I see they're going to be finding out that a cancer is very self-absorbed, okay? So in your foundation is that you are going to be victoriously overcoming your financial hardship that you were going through your worries is going to be over and they're going to be finding out that a pisces cancer or scorpion man had worked together with a taurus man to create some sort of a financial hardship for you and now the truth is going to be coming out because i see they're going to be finding out that an aries the or sagittarius woman had created a a whole lot of problems and have took money on the false pretend and have created some sort of a business for herself with these men and you were connected but now you're going to be however you're connected is as if the money was yours and they took all of this money or um they use your money however it is connected truth is going to be coming out i gotta go i'm saying namaste until next time welcome um gemini's this is the second week of the year 2021 i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back let's go in and check in and see what is happening a whole lot of you gemini's are dealing with a uh, a young woman between the age of 18 and 45 that is a Pisces Cancer Scorpion and you're going to be finding out how sick this person is the grim ripper the relationship is over no second chance for this woman grow and transform your life okay whoever this woman is you're going to be finding out that this woman is sick mentally off twisted not normal is a young lady miss maybe it's your child you're going to be so surprised at who this person is it is what it is um you could be overcoming and receiving some sort of a, a information where this woman is talking to friends and thinking about moving on and want to be happy a single living in the moment and having fun now this could be your child for some of you, but some of you, this is looking as if this is someone you were in a relationship with. Now, whoever this person is and whatever is transpired, you're going to be finding out that this person is really off. A sick person. This person is uh, immature, but also very, very sick. Mentally off. Okay. You're going to be realizing that this person has... Uh, created some problems that you realize that this person is uh, really not normal some sort of a problem um in the family is going to be coming up 
so as you see the energy of the problem and the devil and the end is coming to um this person so some of you who was in a relationship with a cancer a um Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, well, a young lady between the age of 18 and 45, you're going to be finding out that this person had created a whole lot of problems for your family. And finally, you're going to be releasing this person. So it could be some of you girlfriend or some of you friends that you're going to be realizing are oh, really off this person is. Okay. Money. Um, some of you are, uh, are broken over some money that you should have received you still have not heard any message about this money you're going to be finding out uh, that a um, Pisces cancer or scorpion woman have created a whole lot of issue and this is the reason why you are not going to be receiving that money is because of uh, what this lady have done so some of you were connected uh, um to a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, woman, it could be you were married in a relationship with this person. They're going to be finding out who this person is. The Grim Ripper um, end this relationship. You have to end this relationship. This relationship is very deceptive. This relationship is was created on deceptive ground. A whole lot of information, documentation is going to be coming in where they're going to be finding out the lies and deceptiveness of this cancer person. Pisces can uh, or scorpion person and I see you're going to be walking away and protecting your family from this person Um, when we look there was some sort of a uh, uh, blockages with money and um, you Gemini had some sort of a blockages is money there was negative influences and influences that was blocking your financial flow as this person is out of your life you're going to be realizing how this is going to be flowing a lot of you, the art breaks for your family is going to be over and your family is going to be starting over anew. And moving forward, your family has realized um, how this uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person came into um, the family and created a whole lot of issues and problem. Monday is going to be a hurt energy. Tuesday is going to be um, some sort of a situation with a family. Thursday, Wednesday, the art break is going to be over. Uh, Thursday, the devil is um, in the details be aware Friday some sort of information is going to be coming into you letting you know that the heartbreak is now over a new start is going to be here for you on Saturday you're turning your back or um, this young lady has turned her back to you let it go this person is not healthy for you let's go in your reader so the seven of cups a whole lot of uh, uh, opportunities is going to be here for a lot of you if you're hoping for a new job a whole lot of job opportunities is going to be there new contract is going to be coming in um i see if you and your family was waiting for some sort of a new contract yes it is going to be coming in i see a whole lot of documentation a whole lot of you that was looking for a job a lot of opportunities a lot of doors are going to be opening up uh, and a lot of uh, fastness so you have twice the energy of fastness that this week is going to be fast so um i see the queen of oysters is here and the queen of oysters could be helping some of your family in order to regain some sort of a stability some sort of a information is going to be coming in um with the queen of oyster um i see truth is going to be coming out the queen of oyster successful outcomes is going to be here the screen of oyster is going to be helping a lot of you and your family to resolve some sort of an issue okay so when we look at the energy of the ace of pentacles that is a new start to your financial stability new contracts new business new opportunities is going to be opening up a lot of you new doors of opportunities is going to be here for you um a lot of opportunities to make a lot of uh, money is going to be here for you a lot of you new new contract and new business deals so it has to do with you connecting with other people a lot of you um that was going through financial hardship money is going to be coming in and i see celebration some sort of information is coming in then i see um um a taurus Virgo, a capricorn is going to be making sure whoever this lady is could be your mom or your husband or your your wife is going to be making sure 
that some sort of a documentation for you and your family is correctly done okay um this person is going to be standing their grounds and making sure that uh, um whatever you need to move forward whatever documents whatever situation whatever business this woman is going to be standing her ground and uh, making sure that you receive the correct contract and the right deal. Okay, so this is going to be extremely, extremely good. Some sort of a documentation is going to be coming in from a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person helping you. You're going to be successfully overcoming some sort of a unhealthy behaviors from other people that was created in your world. Um, success is going to be coming with your work. Whatever heartbreaks there was uh, with work, you're going to be receiving a new job or the new offer of a new job is going to be coming in. Long-term stability is going to be here. Um, some of you, if you are looking for financial help with a house, it is going to be happening, a new start. Information is going to be coming in for... Um, um, information is going to be coming in for um, you guys. Um, um, this information, especially some sort of a, um, investigation that was taking place, um, around a house, you're going to be receiving some sort of a information coming in and that is going to be good. Some of you, um, Virgos, um, um, might have to be, um, paying a cancer or cancer have to pay some of you Virgos back. Whatever is going on and transpired, they're going to be realizing that a cancer have to pay some of you Virgos back because a cancer, um, young cancer, it doesn't have to be a cancer. Pisces cancer, scorpion person between the age of 18 and 45 have to pay a whole lot of money back. Oh, I see with conversation, I see they have realized that this person is self-absorbed and need to pay back all the money. I see that people in power is going to be canceling the Pisces cancer Pisces Cancer or Scorpion person account and it's going to be returning some money that this person has took from you, um, Gemini's, okay? They're going to be realizing that this person has been sucking you, Gemini's, dry and they're going to be canceling the account and return all the money back to you, Gemini's, okay? So, what um, is going on? So I see in the crowning of this week is art breaks is going to be over. I see a lot of you Gemini's are going to be successfully um, over a situation that you're going to be receiving some sort of a new start. So you Gemini's, you're going to be very, very successfully overcoming some sort of a problem with a house problem um, with a um, with a organization problems with your business. You're going to be successfully overcoming new contracts is going to be coming in for you Virgos in this week and this is going to be good then we see some sort of a documentation information is going to be coming in um, um from a Taurus Virgo Capricorn person that is going to be helping you and your family in order to resolve some sort of a uh, situation and you start some of you Virgos could be making sure that uh, the right documentation um, is done for a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn and I see you Virgos are going to be working in order to make sure the correct information is uh, um, get to the person and that this person um, will have a new start because of some sort of a injustice that was played against this person. I see that they're going to be making sure that um, this person so some of you Gemini's could be helping out a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person and making sure that correct documentation come for a house because they're going to be finding out that a whole lot of um, uh, um, um, outside influence was blocking some sort of a new contract and blocking this person. And I see you Gemini's are going to be helping this person out. OK, so money is going to be good. Um, negative forces, they're investigating um, some sort of a negative play with a whole lot of money um, between you and a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn and they're going to be making sure that this is balanced out. So when we look at work, work is going to be coming in. A lot of you, multiple um, offer of work is going to be coming in 
a lot of you are going to be having multiple opportunities now because um, they are now realizing that a situation was blocked because of negative forces, outside negative forces that was blocking a situation is now being resolved, okay? Um, I see um, a lot of you, new contracts, new documentation is going to be coming in in the beginning of the week. Then I see you're going to be successfully overcoming um, some successful conversation um, between you and a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn woman is going to be taking place. This is going to be good. Positive communication is going to be happening between you and a Taurus, Virgo, and a Capricorn person. When we come on to work, work is going to be available. So if you guys are looking for a job in this week, a whole lot of work is going to be available. Forget the heartbreaks for some of you that your contract um, didn't renew, let it go. Um, take this new opportunity that is coming in and this new um, job opportunity. Some of you who are looking to buy a house is going to be a yes. And I see information is coming in to give a lot of you Geminis a new start. Work and business looks good. Positive energy, positive alignment of energy. Number 88 and um, 7. 88, 3 times 8 is here. This is how the universe show that you, um, Geminis, are going to be very successful and financial support is going to be coming in. We have the energy of the eight of, that is at work. A whole lot of work is going to be fast at work. A whole lot of work is going to be a whole lot of work that you have to get off. Then we see new contracts is going to be coming in. So this is really powerful for a lot of you. Um, some sort of a documentation that some of you were waiting for is finally finally going to be given so a lot of you were waiting on some sort of information some sort of a documentation it is finally finally going to be given in and a situation with a house um some of you could have um separated some of you was uh, working on some sort of a resolution with a house situation is finally going to be resolved in this um week People that was having issue at the workplace, no problem. A lot of you, um, they found out that a young Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, maybe it's your child, maybe it's your partner, have created some sort of a um, criminal offense where this person had taken a lot of money that was not theirs. I see that this person had to pay you a Gemini back. Um, they find out that this this person has uh, um, sucked you dry off your money and they're going to be um, canceling this first account. They're going to be um, canceling the bank account and return the money to all the people that this uh, young lady took money from on the false pretend. They're going to be really canceling this young lady bank account. It is a good week. Gemini's congratulations. Go back and look at uh, your second week in a month. Um, the full moon is coming up, but go back and look at the second week in a month. This is the energy that is going to be affecting you. Whoever a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion person is, let them go. Um, they are like shadow. They work with shadow. They work with negativity. Um, and they already let you go because they have sucked you dry of all your financial stability. I see that people is really going to be helping you out. So, you know, couples who were having problems with a house, you're going to be financially successfully overcoming and um, a, a woman, um, a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn woman, a Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn woman is going to be making sure that you um, come out of the situation good. Um, this is like a friend that is watching you and having your back. This friend is really going to be helping you to resolve some sort of an issue and to return financial stability to you. So this is going to be good. So Gemini's, I do love you guys. Go find out who is uh, this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn woman. It's a older woman, but this older woman is um, protecting you. Then we see you have a young cancer. Maybe it's your daughter. Um, your daughter have to pay back a whole lot of money or whoever this um, young um, Pisces cancer or scorpion person is. They have to pay back a whole lot of money because they realize what this person have done. I got to go. Remember to use uh, um, the timestamp in order to see who is this cancer and who is this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. Uh, namaste. 
Welcome Librans. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful likes, shares and support Librans. All right Librans, let's get into your reading. So um, this um, uh, this a week is about a whole lot of money. Whatever is happening and transpiring Librans is about a whole lot of money. Now some of you, um, this is a week that you could meet your twin flame and soulmate. Um, love is looking good in this week. Unconditional love, um, soul love, um, affectionate. So a lot of you could be connecting with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. And I see if there was some sort of a, a conflict, so I see this conflict is going to be over. Some of you is connecting and um, uh, it's as if this person is your friend. I see um, you are feeling this person is like a, 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 um, a soulmate or a twin, uh, a twin flame. Okay, so whoever you are that is connecting with a Taurus, Virgo or a Capricorn person, it's like a soulmate twin flame. Some of you could be... Um, um, uh, connecting with a Virgo woman, it is a twin flame. Okay, um, some of you could be meeting a Virgo woman. Um, this Virgo woman is a twin flame. Now, whatever is happening in transparent money seems to be uh, the name of the game in this week. And uh, some of you liberals could be um, gaining a lot of money. You could be winning the lottery, some sort of an unexpected event uh, where some of you women are going to be defeated. And losing a lot of money and some of you uh, end is coming up for some of you liberal women um, and I see some sort of a defeat for some of you liberals moving forward okay so some of you liberals wanted um, to move forward but there is some sort of a defeat so I see um, um, a Capricorn a Taurus Virgo a Capricorn person um, and bring an end for some of you Librans and have defeated you, okay? So it, it, some of you Librans who were having some sort of a conflict with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person, this person stand their grounds and have created an end for you and have defeated you in some sort of a deceptive uh, spelliture that you were, you were doing. I see you are now defeated. The five of swords is in the reverse. This woman stand turning her back to you and have defeated you. If you notice, this woman has brought an end to a situation where some of you liberals was doing. Then I see the seven of pentacles. The energy of the seven of pentacles is that some of you liberal women um, try to either copy someone else's information or try to move forward with a whole lot of money. But it's not going to be happening. So they're going to be finding out that some of you liberal took some sort of a money. Not all of you, okay? A Virgo woman is going to be there for you, liberal. Whatever happened and transpired, a Virgo woman is definitely going to be there. Maybe this is your sister. And um, this is like... Uh, you two have known each other in lifetime and lifetime. I see this Virgo woman is offering you a whole lot of uh, love. So, you know, don't worry about what is happening ending. This Virgo woman is always going to be there for you. So, I see a whole lot of conflicts. Um, a whole lot of conflicts is uh, there with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. Is a Vir with a Taurus person or a Virgo person. A whole lot of conflicts some of you are having with a Virgo woman between the ages of 18 and 45. Heartbreaks is coming up for some of you Librans. Um, whatever the heartbreaks is, it has to do with a project. Um, they're finding out that you Librans have not been very honest. So they're realizing that uh, also a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion woman... Um, together with you liberals have created a whole lot of issue and I see um, they're going to be protecting a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn woman from something that you liberals have done to this lady so whatever is happening and transpiring 
Um, they're finding out that you Librans, uh, because I see they're going to be protecting this lady. Um, and a Taurus Virgo lady is going to be protected uh, from you Librans. Now, what we're looking at here is that a lot of you are going to be having to deal with a Pisces Cancer Scorpion woman. And I see heartbreaks for this woman and her business because of something that you Librans have done. Whoever this Pisces Cancer Scorpion woman is, I see heartbreak for this lady and her business because of you Librans have created some sort of a issue. Um. There is some sort of a family situation where I see they're going to be protecting the family um, of a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn from you Librans. A lot of you Librans have to pay back um, some money um, that you took. They realize that the money was not yours. And I see the energy of the Three of Pentacles that they're going to be finding out that you Librans had collaborated with other people in order to accumulate money that was not yours. I see truth is coming out about a whole lot of money that you Librans have. They are investigating where did you Librans get this money from. And um, they're going to be taking down a really horrible situation that was created. So I see they're protecting a Taurus, Virgo or a Capricorn woman. Um, a lot of you are dealing with your mom. If your mom is a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion person, um, a whole lot of you could be trying to protect your mom. A whole lot of you are finding out some sort of information that um, was created around your mom. Um, a lot of you had claim that a uh, Taurus, that a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion woman was your mother, and they realized you Librans were lying. So you Librans, um, as I said, that a Pisces woman was your mom and they realized you were not speaking the truth. You were accessing people information and documentation on the false pretend. And I see they came down very, very hard on you Libra woman because they realized uh, that a Pisces woman is not your mom and that you have lied and created a whole lot of situation. Truth is coming out and I see an end is going to be coming in. A lot of you Libran have to pay back a whole lot of money. Whoever you Librans is um, that has created some sort of a problem for other people, I see this is coming around. Some sort of a help is going to be coming in for a Virgo woman or a Taurus woman because they have realized that this Virgo woman and Taurus woman information or documentation was used by you Librans in order to acquire a whole lot of wealth. And they are going to be um, putting um, it in the books that you Librans return this money. I see they found out the lies and deceptiveness of you Librans, a whole lot of heartbreaks. Um, a whole lot of conflicts is here because they realize that uh, the money belonged to a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person. Their mother is the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person. And um, they realize that you Librans has been using and accessing this lady information for quite some time. I see protection is going to be coming up for a, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn woman. Um, and... Uh, um, you Librans who had taken money and pretend that this woman mothers with your mother, you have to return the money. You can see it here that they found out that you Libran says that a Pisces woman was your mom and they find out that is a lie. Um, this woman don't even know you. This woman is not your mom. You were accessing this woman information and taking uh, on, on the false height, uh, um, information and documentation over this woman and it was not your mom the um woman have one child and this is the taurus virgo or a capricorn person and i see this person is uh, making a uh, making it clear and is taking back their powers and taking back uh, um their mother's information and protecting their mother's information because their mother has passed away and left them a whole lot of money and you librans lied and say that a Pisces can a Pisces woman was your mom. It's not your mom. You're a criminal. 
and they're going to be advising that you return all the money that you took because it's not your mom. There, you or some of you Librans are being defeated. Your family is being defeated because of uh, um, some false eye that you created. Um, you have used a dead woman information in order to accumulate a lot of wealth and they have found out what you liberals have done. Whoever this dead lady is, they this dead the, the lady is passed away and she has a child. And this child is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn woman, and you have um falsifying using and taking posts from this lady and pretending to be this lady child, and they found out your mom is your mother and father is still alive. You are a deceptive person. For the rest of you who have a friend that is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, I see that you and this person, um, it's going to be, this person is like a soulmate or a sister to you. You are going to protect this person as this person is going to be protecting you. So this is really, really wonderful. Whatever is happening and transpiring, a lot of you Librans are going to be protecting, especially Librans 45 years and older. If you have a girlfriend that is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, I see you both are going to be protecting each other. Um, you both are going to be finding out about some dishonest play that was um, that has transpired. And I see a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person is going to be advising some of you that there was some real horrible play um, that has transpired against you and they're going to be finding out the truth. I see some sort of an ending is coming up for old Pisces woman. Whoever this old Pisces woman is, a whole lot of an ending is coming up for this old Pisces woman. Whoever this old Pisces woman is, this old Pisces woman has to pay back a whole lot of money. They have seen a destructive play. This woman, this old Pisces woman, um, is having some sort of a conflicts. Conflicts. And the conflicts is about a Taurus, very very Capricorn person. And uh, what they're realizing is that this old Pisces woman tried to create some sort of an issue because she was looking um to rip off uh, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn woman. And I see an end is coming up for this old Pisces woman. It's as if this woman thought that, oh, you know, she could uh, just um, create some sort of an issue. And this woman is speaking bad about uh, and creating problems for this Taurus Virgo Capricorn person. This person is like, really, lady, move on. And I see an end is coming up because they realize that this woman is not being honest. And this woman has been not only lying, but trying to create some sort of a problem. This woman is connected some way in some sort of a deceptive play. And I see the conflicts that this lady is trying to create some sort of a conflicts. And I see they're going to be ending this conflicts and I'm telling this lady to move on. Because whoever this lady is, is trying to create some sort of a problem. Um, a Libran family is being defeated. And this Libran family has to pay back a whole lot of money. I see an end that is going to be coming up. Um, because they realize that a Libran family, there is something with some sort of a connection with money. How a Libran family came up with so much money, they are going to be finding out. Some of you Librans are going to be meeting your, your twin flame in this week. Some of you Librans, new love is going to be coming in. Some of you Librans, uh, you're, you and your family have to, um, are going to be in some serious problem because you and your family, they're going to be realizing that you and your family have a, accumulated wealth in some sort of a false way. Help is going to be coming in for a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I see they're going to be protecting this person. I see you liberals have to return money that you took from this person and this person's mother. 
I see an end is coming up to you liberals and the lies and deceptiveness. It's all coming out. And you liberals created some sort of a problem. I see heartbreaks is coming up, especially for young liberals between the age of 18 and 45. Young liberals between the ages of 18 and 45, you have some serious problems. They have found out uh, your lies and deceptiveness. I see a whole lot of conflicts uh, um, in the family of uh, um, that is going on and it is over money. And uh, it is a situation where they're realizing um, that you young liberals between the age of 18 and 45 had created a whole lot of problems for a family. And there is some sort of a situation where some of you liberal had collaborated and worked with each other or work with other people in order to receive some sort of a money. And they're really finding out the family of you young liberals and how you, um, you create your wealth. And I see truth is going to be coming out. A lot of you were hoping to use this money in order to um, gain some sort of a new start. Um, but it's not going to be happening because uh, um, you have to pay back the money. So you Libran had got money on the false pretending. They're realizing that the money was not for you, but it was for a Taurus where we're a Capricorn person. And now you have to repay the money because they found out the truth. So in your stability, a whole lot of... Uh, um, untrue that was stole is going to be coming out um you liberals they're going to be finding out that some of you young liberals between the age of 18 and 45 had collaborated with other people in order to create a wealth in 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 an on in a dishonest way where you basically sold someone out in order to acquire money and i see this is going to be ending because they're going to be authorizing you and the family to return the money um, to who it belongs to because it's not yours. It is for a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn. A lot of you, if your mom is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, um, and you are dealing with a Pisces, they're going to be ending um, this woman network. Whoever this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion woman is, this woman has a network that she create problems for other people, and I see they're going to be ending it. So, um, you know, this is a situation where um, they realize that this woman has not uh, um, spoken the truth. Whoever the spicy skin, so a scorpion woman is 50 years and older, have not spoken the truth. And I see they're going to be coming down on this lady. It's like this lady tried to create some sort of a legal issue, and they realize this lady has been lying. So they are going to be um, coming down on this lady. For a lot of you, I see... Um, friendship is good a lot of you you could um, meet someone and you feel as if this person is a like this person just know um how you take is a soul family okay it's a soul family and i see a lot of you liberals are going to be connected with the capric the, the earth sign people um and it's as if you realize this person and we have so much in common and that is going to be letting you know that is a soul family. It is a week from, um, if you're looking for love, it's a week of uh, love. That is good. I see new love is coming in. I got to go. A lot of you are going to be finding out some lies about a whole lot of money. And I see that you liberals have to return the money. Got to go. Remember to check out and find out who is this Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person. And who are these people? Um, use the link to see who are these people and connect namaste Welcome, Taurus. Says this is the fourth week. Uh, sorry, <laughs> in the fourth week, it's uh, something is going to happen, Taurus. This is the second week of the year 2020. The week is from the 11th until the 17th. I want to say thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being back, Tauruses. Um, this is the second week. Let's see what's happening. You start this week out with a, 
um, the Ten of Pentacles, which is good. It's the Earth energy. A whole lot of money. Wealth, okay? And uh, um, in love, what we see is some of you are chasing someone. And I see a lot of you are sending some sort of affectionate, uh, um, showing someone affectionate. So some of you could be chasing someone in love. And some of you are going to be sending a lot of affectionate to someone. Now... What is happening here in transpiring is that some of you Tauruses is going to be finding out that a, a man, um, an Aries Leo or such Taurus man, is on the investigation on how he comes on his wealth. A lot of people are now investigating this person and trying to figure out how this person come on his or her wealth. So this person is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius and they realize how much money this person have and they're really, really... Um, investigating and seeing um, how this person have uh, come on their world. This week is going to be a very successful week, a pleasurable week. Um, some sort of information is coming out where people are going to be finding out a whole lot of information about a um, Sagittarian woman, that a Sagittarian woman and a Scorpion woman have worked together in order to create some a huge, huge problem. I see that people are going to be recognizing um, the networking and the connection of a um, scorpion woman and a Sagittarian woman. Um, a huge in um, on the zook is taking place um, because, oh my God, yeah, a huge investigation is taking place because of a... Um, a criminal, a fire sign person. This fire sign person is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. And they're now realizing and seeing the truth of this young fire sign person and what this young fire sign person have done. Okay. So what we're realizing and is recognizing um, is that a whole lot of truths is going to be coming out. Okay. Um, there is no question about it. A whole lot of truth is going to be coming out and people are going to be aware of what is happening and what is transpiring and how a lot of you have uh, um, dealt with some sort of uh, issues that was happening and is coming up and how people have created a whole lot of problems and they're going to be looking and investigating a whole lot of money that a scorpion woman has and they're also going to be realizing um, that a um, the connection between a young man that is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius and an older uh, Sagittarian woman or an older Aries Leo or Sagittarian. So I see Taurus is your burden is going to be over and your burden is going to be over because uh, they're going to be finding out the connection um, that these two women are connected and how these two women has created a whole lot of problems, okay? So they're going to be finding out some a whole lot of money um, that a scorpion woman have. And they're going to be also finding out the connection between an Aries Leo or Sagittarius uh, and a, um, a young person and an old person that this person could be they could be family um, members. So I see love is going to be offered to some of you Tauruses. Um, someone is coming in offering you love. Is it that uh, you have money or you're about to land a whole lot of money? I see love. Whoever this person is, is a cancer. They're going to be finding out a whole lot of lies and deceptiveness of a cancer and a whole lot of money that this cancer and secrets that a cancer have with a fire sign person and how they accumulate a whole lot of money and you are finding out um you are finding out um what has been happening and what has been um transpiring so whatever is happening and transpiring you are going to be finding out um a whole lot about a whole lot of money Okay, so here we see the Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. They're finding out that a fire sign person have a lot of secrets together with a cancer. How they acquire a whole lot of money. Judgment call is coming down. I see you are taking down these people, a cancer and a fire sign person. They are realizing how these cancer and fire sign person accumulate a lot of wealth. So, 
Um, there we see the energy of seven of wands. Uh, a lot of you Tauruses are standing your ground and bringing down a judgment call on a corporation institution or a group of people that have been stealing and how they come on a whole lot of money. You're going to be finding out the truth about a scorpion woman. Whoever the scorpion woman is, you're going to be overcoming the scorpion woman. Um, you're going to be successfully overcoming a scorpion woman and uh, um, they're going to be finding out who the scorpion woman and what the scorpion woman have done. I see a lot of you are dealing with an Aries woman and regrets is here for this Aries woman or this Aries woman had some sort of a regrets that was happening and transpiring. They're going to be finding out what this woman has done. News is going to be coming to you, Tauruses, that your burden is now over. Whatever burdens that you Tauruses was carrying, your burdens is now over. News of love is going to be coming in. Whoever had relationship problems and issue, this is going to be resolved. And I see some sort of a positive, positive resolution is going to be coming in. Okay, so let's go in and see what was happening and what was transpiring. So we see a whole lot of money, secrets over a whole lot of money. And people are standing their grounds and finding out that a cancer have intercept or took a whole lot of money. And people are going to be standing their grounds and recognizing what was happening and transpiring. Where did a whole lot of money go? This was like a whole lot of money that a cancer and a scorpion have intercept and took. And they're now finding out because I see they're investigating a, a scorpion and a cancer and finding out secrecy of a scorpion and a cancer so it, this could be your sisters and brothers or friends but that you're going to be finding out about a whole lot of money and i see you taurus is just going to be standing your ground and said no 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 then we see they're going to be finding out that a fire sign person they're not showing up who they are have secrecy of how they get a lot of money and here is it um you're going to be overcoming finding out the secrecy of a young fire sign person how did they acquire so much money so you Taurus is, is like on the ground um really investigating and really putting the puzzle together of who is this um fire sign person because they're not really showing up if it's Aries Leo or Sagittarius. So some of you is an Aries, some of you is a Leo, some of you is a Sagittarius. So um you Tauruses, this could be an ex and you found out that this ex have a whole lot of money. How did this ex come on this money? This is a situation that is going to be transpiring on Tuesday. On Wednesday I see a lot of you Taurus standing your ground and is showing up um friends for something and I see you Taurus this is going to be getting yourself out of a situation and and, and showing up your friends and uh, real uh, showing up that a Aries person have created a whole lot of problem a Aries woman have created a whole lot of problem for some of you is Aries for some of you is a Leo for some of you is a Sagittarius and they're going to be finding out what these uh, um, people have done and how these people have created some sort of an issue. You're going to be victoriously overcoming a situation with an Aries and a Scorpion woman. Whoever this Aries and the Scorpion woman is, people are aware of them and is on top of their games. Then I see some sort of an investigation is transpiring about a whole lot of money and they're going to be recognizing how a young Aries Leo or Sagittarius come with a whole lot of money because they're going to be realizing that this person is uh, have a whole lot of secrets how they um, receive money. And um, then we see a situation with a fire sign person, and I see this fire sign person have no regrets about what they have done, and it is as if you Taurus is, is like. Uh, Really, you should really, you know, realize the problem that you have created for others. So secrets over a young fire sign person, a whole lot of money is now out. I see you, Taurus, this is going to be standing your grounds. It could be your ex or your ex-partner or a family member or a young fire sign person that could, you know, they're wondering how this fire sign person have all of this money. I see you're standing your ground and you're investigating 
the relationship between a scorpion and a aries whether the scorpion and this aries is you're really standing and trying to figure out what is the relationship and the connection between a scorpion woman and an aries woman some of you is a scorpion some of you is a pisces cancer or a scorpion aries Leo, or sagittarian woman these two women you're standing your ground and really looking at what is the connection between um these two people a whole lot of money people are going to be now aware of uh, what a um Aries Lee or Sagittarius young person have done and accumulated a whole lot of money. They're going to be realizing and is finding out how this person accumulated a whole lot of money. And I see um that some of you are going to be trying to offer um some sort of uh, help uh, to resolve some sort of a situation. It's like as if you're realizing that friends some of you are going to be realizing and standing your grounds with friends and you're going to be figuring out and receiving and standing strong in your shoes and realizing um, what was happening between you and friends and between you and uh, people, what, what was transpiring, that friends were not being honest, okay? Secrets are coming out about a Harry's woman whoever this Aries woman and whatever she has done, I see a whole lot of secrets is coming out. For some of you as an Aries woman, for some of you as an Aries Leo or Sagittarius woman, they are now finding out the secret of this woman. Then I see a whole lot of money, the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and some regret for a fire sign woman. Whoever this fire sign woman is, is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. You are seeing that this person regretted what they have done in order to come by this money. So money, they're going to be finding out secrecy. Yes, you can see that. A lot of you, um, I see a cancer is coming back. A cancer or a scorpion have regrets. Whatever is happening and transpiring, a cancer or a scorpion have a whole lot of regrets to something what they have done to you, Tauruses. You Tauruses are really standing your ground and really watching two people whoever these two women are here is the your sagittarius is this your mother is just your wife but i see you taurus are really investigating these two people and is trying to figure out who are these two people how are they connected are they family are they friends so whatever is happening i see a lot of you are investigating this Whoever is married to a, a scorpion woman, I see you're going to be finding out something about the scorpion woman that you're going to decide to, you know, turn your back and walk away from this person. So you Tauruses, whatever is happening and transpiring, some sort of information is going to be coming out about a scorpion woman that you're going to think, oh yeah, I got you, okay? Then if you are married to an Aries Lee or Sagittarius woman, or this was your ex-friend or girlfriend or sister, um, you're going to be, there is some sort of a, a situation where I see you're investigating this people, you're not going to be regretting. You're going to be realizing that it was time for these people to be caught in what they have done and what they have created. So I see they're going to be realizing and investigating how did a young Aries Leo or Sagittarius person come with so much money? They're going to be investigating and realizing who is this person and how does this person come with so much money? And people are going to be now looking at this person and realizing that there was some sort of a criminal situation that has created and has transpired. So I see burdens is now going to be over a lot of you. Um, it's going to be re um, getting some sort of a news that your burdens is going to be over. It's going to be a week where um, you're going to be resolving some sort of an issue, whether it's with your mom that is a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion or um, your mom that is an Aries Lee or a Sagittarius. Some sort of a information is going to be coming through and people are going to be realizing. And um, an investigation is going on over a whole lot of money. Mm -hmm. And... It could be you guys who are investigating or someone else. All right. I got to go. Please like and share these videos. Um, I would say to you, stop chasing after love. 
Um, if you have to chase after someone, that means the person um, wasn't meant for you. Namaste. Until next time. Welcome, um, Virgos. This is the second week of the year 2021. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful likes, shares, and support. This week in love, the heart with a key is here. So love is good in this week for a lot of you. Okay, so Virgo men, love is really good in this week for a lot of you. Some of you are not open and not ready. Some of you are having relationship problems. You need to just let the person know that you're not interested. Okay, there is something about blocking your phone. Just use the block and block your phone, okay? A lot of you are going to be finding out about some sort of a deceptive play. What the King of Pentacles have done. Whoever this King of Pentacles is, is um could be you men fifty years and older. So you businessmen, there is going to be some sort of a problem, some sort of a situation with you businessmen. They're going to be finding out that you businessmen are just honest. Okay. A lot of you businessmen was opening hoping for some sort of a help. But they're going to be finding out that you businessmen has not been the most honest people. That you businessmen have created a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of issue for people. That you businessmen have created Issues and problems, a whole lot of issues and problems that have uh, um, you businessmen have created. Lies and deceptiveness. I see a Aquarian Gemini, a woman is going to be ru ru um, ruined. This woman is an Aquarian or Gemini, Aquarian Gemini or Liberant woman is going to be ru ruined because of lies and deceptiveness. So, I see that whoever this person is has created a whole lot of problems. Um, maybe it's a sister, maybe it's a friend, maybe it's an ex, maybe it's your ex-wife or an ex-girlfriend. I see this person is going to be ruined because of lies and deceptiveness. This person is not honest. So seven is the number, uh, it is the number of your week. No, number seven. It's not a week to do anything, it's not a week to make any changes. So um, the first two days is going to be error. Okay, a lot of information coming at you. Um, the um, energy of this week is the Seven of Cups, some sort of an emotional situation, and the Seven of Swords, where um, lies in um, emotional, lies in relationship, uh, um, dishonesty is coming out. Businessmen, uh, change is coming in for you, businessmen. Whatever that was happening and transpiring, I see you, businessmen. Um, is going to be a, a Taurus businessman is going to be having some sort of a serious, serious problem. They find out the lies and deceptiveness of a Taurus businessman and what a Taurus businessman have done. So ruin. So what I see, some sort of a relationship is going to be ruined. An end is coming up to some sort of a relationship um, because of lies and deceptiveness. People are going to be finding out the truth. So some of you that was uh, um, networking and in some sort of a friendship, um, they're going to be finding out uh, that a um, an Aquarian, a Gemini or Libra person was not speaking the truth, okay, and uh, a Scorpion woman. They realized that uh, these two people were not speaking the truth and that these two people have lied and deceived. Um, they realized that a couple has been very, very... Um, disturb a couple is not honest. They're now finding out uh, now and seeing the truth um, of a couple and that a couple had lied. So Virgos, um, who is this couple? Um, this couple, some of you maybe had 
collaborated with this couple maybe some of you at work um together with this couple um they are now seeing the destructiveness and the, the deceptiveness and the destructiveness of a couple and how dishonest uh, this business couple is uh, and it's a scorpion business couple and they're investigating the scorpion co business couple and finding out that they have lied an offer is going to be coming up for some of you businessmen or some of you men that is looking for a job is going to be receiving some sort of an offer um some a taurus is now in some serious trouble a taurus and a capricorn is in some serious trouble yes they are finding out the truth of a taurus businessman whoever the taurus businessman is they're finding out the truth of the taurus businessman the deceptiveness and the lies that, that the taurus businessman has created I see a lot of you Virgos are carrying a lot of burdens now because you found out some real deceptive criminal situation that was transpiring. So you Virgos have uh, opened up the Pandora box to some real um, horrible deceptive play that was transpiring, okay? This week is about endings and new beginning. This week is about realizing some sort of on a lick how a group of people had collaborated and created some sort of a criminal offense and full their pockets by using other people and 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 um really creating a lot of um on a lick um situation a lot of you are going to be finding out the dis um the disgustingness and the deceptiveness uh, that was created with a lot of documentation. Um, some of you Virgos uh, were the one who set some sort of a spyware on someone computer and an intercept and has accessed this woman information. And they're going to be finding out the disruptiveness of what you Virgos have done. Some of you Virgo men um, wanted some sort of a new start, wanted a new um, job, but they're going to be finding out that you had created some sort of a um on a lick uh this honest pale and now you're carrying a lot of burdens because they realize uh, this is honest play that you virgos have created then we see um twice the energy a whole lot of uh, deceptiveness is coming out virgo so monday you're going to be finding out the lies of a couple okay um, I can a scorpion couple, a scorpion woman and her husband. They're going to be finding out how a scorpion woman and her husband had lied on a Capricorn woman. They're going to be finding out um how the scorpion couple had really created some horrible lies and deceptiveness. Um, and they're going to be looking and trying to make some sort of a decision. So it could that you Virgos are investigating a corporation that is run by a couple, a scorpion couple. And they're going to be finding out uh, that the scorpion couple have connected with a, um, a Gemini or a Libran or an Aquarian and the lies of this young woman. They are now finding out. Oh my God. This young woman is mentally unstable because when people lie like that, you are off. Okay, anyone who lie extremely, you are definitely off. So, um, what they're realizing is that a Libran had lied. Um, whoever this Libran is, they find out that this Libran is not honest. They find out that this Libran is collaborating with other people and creating a whole lot of issues so then we see the energy of that they found out that a young um, aquarian gemini or libra had lied and um, together with a scorpion um together with a scorpion woman and her husband had lied and they are finding out uh, the truth of what uh, these people have done together and that these people have collaborated Truth is coming out and I see a scorpion is going to be 
getting a new offer whoever the scorpion is is a young scorpion um a scorpion that was uh, in a relationship with a liberal is going to be released and the scorpion is going to be receiving a new start the liberal me because they find out the real or the deceptiveness some sort of a balance is going to be coming in and um, they realize that uh, um a, a, a you Virgo businessman was really dishonest. You Virgo businessman has uh, um created some some issues and create multiple opportunities of receiving money, but in a wrong way. Uh, and they're going to be finding out. Some sort of a new offer could be coming up if you guys are looking for a job. Go for it because um the energy of the frequency of you reconnecting with um, people in a work situation, new job. Yes, it, doors of opportunities is going to be opening up. Yes, it is going to be happening, okay? Lies and deceptiveness of a Libran is now out. I see this Libran is trying to find inner strength. Um, then I see um, the truth um, of a Scorpion woman. As a Libran and a Scorpion woman has gotten themselves in some serious, serious problem. People are realizing that a Libran and a Scorpion woman have collaborated together. I see some sort of a new offer is going to be coming in for you um, men or whoever is looking for a job. Um, I see a whole lot of you are trying to find inner strength to deal with your business because your business, you're having some sort of an issue, problem with your business. And you're trying to balance out these issues and these problems. They're going to be finding out that a Scorpion woman and her husband had lied. And that a, a couple had collaborated. A business couple had collaborated with someone else to create a, some um, horrible, horrible um, situation against another person. They're going to be finding out the truth of a Leo and the truth of a Scorpion. What um, a, a, a Libran has done to a Scorpion. The Scorpion is going to be receiving a new sort. The Scorpion and the Capricorn man. So let's say that a um, Scorpion father is a Capricorn. They are going to be released out of the situation. But the Libran is going to be left in the situation. Because they find out that the Libran is a criminal. Um, a lot of you are trying to find inner strength. But I see... Help is going to be coming in. I see people in power is going to be helping out some of you Virgos. Um, it could be managers. It could be a people in authority is going to be helping out some of you Virgos. Because people in authority is now seeing a deceptive play. That was happened and has created. So be aware of this. So some of you unexpected help is going to be coming in from people in power that is going to realize the deceptive play that has transpired and hand your burdens and realizing how un dishonest um, um, a group of people was. So Monday, Tuesday, you are going to be finding out a whole lot of information about a Aquarian, Gemini or Libra person, whoever this person is. You're going to be finding out who this person is and what this person have done. You're going to be realizing, and people are now realizing, the deceptive play of a, a Libran, a Gemini, and a Scorpion couple, okay? They found out that a Scorpion couple, along with a Libran and a Gemini, have created some sort of a deceptive um, play, and now truth is going to be coming out. Some sort of unexpected help is going to be coming in, so whoever is looking for a new job, um, be open up for the energy because this is going to be happening. A lot of business people are having problems on um, with their business, how to move forward, decision to be made. I see people in power is now realizing that the Scorpion woman and her husband had lied. And the truth is now coming out. What a horrible, horrible, horrible situation that has transpired. Yet still, you Virgos are going to be overcoming this. Um, you Virgos is as if you Virgos is going to say, no, 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 that's not the person. I put the computer on that person. 
Uh, I put the thing on that person. That's not the person. That Libran is not the person. So I see you Virgos are going to be making a wrong right in this week and being honest over a situation that is going to be helping you out. Uh, but you're going to be giving up and said that it's not the person. You're going to be giving up the right person and making a wrong right. So from that, you will receive some sort of a new offer. So Virgos, go um, cross what? See who is this uh, Aquarian, Gemini or Libran. See who is this couple because the couple has been lying. It could be a Leo couple. They're realizing the lies and deceptiveness of a Leo couple. Um, they're finding out the lies and the deceptiveness of a Scorpion couple. These couple could run a business and they're realizing the lies and deceptiveness of these people. I am saying Namaste. Please remember to um, share, share, share these videos. Thumbs up, like, and share. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. If you can't do anything else, just thumbs up. I love you guys. Speak to you next week. Namaste. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, um, Capricorns. I want to say thank you for being here. Um, this is the second week of uh, the year 20, um, in and 20. 2021 i want to say thank you for returning this week is a week of nostalgia looking at your looking back missing nostalgia making new memories okay then we have the sword of the rose clarity is going to be in this week truths is coming out revelations a solitude forces honor and protection and power so Capricorn, what a week, what a week, what a week. Let's go in and see what is coming up. You have two major arcana. It's a yes week. Whatever you are deciding to do, who you have <laughs> fair um a four major arcana. So wonderful, wonderful, wonderful four major arcana. This is showing up a lot of stuff that is coming in. I see some of you Capricorns are going to be receiving an offer. The worries that you had is now over. The conflicts with a corporation institution is now over. The, it, the truth is now coming out. The hangman and the hermit together of something that has uh, happened in the past and people are now realizing what was happening, what happened and the truth is going to be coming out. So, um, a new offer is going to be coming in and the conflicts is going to be over. People are now aware of the deceptive play that was played in the past with a corporation, institution, a company, and they're now realizing what was happening. A lot of you are going to be dealing with people in authority in this week. News is coming in of a new start or a new offer that is going to be coming in to you. People have now seen this deceptive play that was created in the past um, and a whole lot of conflicts. There was some deceptive play that was played in the past with people in authority. Um, now I see a situation where they're going to be finding out friends are now in problem. You're going to be very, very successful in this week, Capricorns. Success is yours. So Capricorns, this week is going to be a very successful week because people are now finding out the deceptiveness that was created with an offer, how someone else could have received some sort of a documentation that was for you. People are now realizing how people have collaborated. Your wishes and dreams are here, Capricorn. Oh my God, Capricorn, you are going to be receiving an offer you have been waiting for. So for the Capricorn who have been hurt and has been thrown under the bus and who people have created a lot of problems, a lot of issue for congratulations, Capricorn, the energy of the sun, your wishes and dreams are coming out. You are going to be very, very successful over conflicts that was going on. You are now 
showing up and people are now finding out news is going to be coming in that your virus is going to be over because they have now put the puzzle together a whole lot of money is going to be returned to you capricorn they have found out put the puzzle together and realize where a whole lot of money a corporation is going to be returning a whole lot of money to you they're going they have found out that a corporation have been stealing from people stealing um from a lot of people they are now um realizing how a corporation have been intercepting taking money and accessing people account and stealing from people and i see truths is going to be coming out and people are going to be aware of what was happening wow so some sort of a situation in the past uh, um that a whole lot of you capricorns was dealing with um and a whole lot of money in a corporation institution they're going to clarity a bank a financial in institution is going to be having clarity and truth truth resolution and you're going to be protected by this corporation institution because they realize that you found out and you showed up the deceptive play that people who was running a corporation institution what they have done so i see they are now realizing some false play that has transpired in the past your wishes and dream is going to be coming true because friends have collaborated in order to work against you i see some sort of a new start and this new start is only coming in for people that was deceived of a whole lot of money people that a whole lot of money was st stolen from them via a corporation institution people who were treated unfairly this is your week that uh, the money is going to be returning and i see people are now finding out uh, the dishonesty and the dishonest play that was done by other people so monday some of you are going to be overcoming um because this is um at the bottom you're overcoming some the, the um really criminal offense that someone had created and the truth is now coming out and people are aware a, a whole lot of inner conflicts your inner conflicts is going to be over a lot of you were having some sort of an inner conflicts about friends you had a feelings that friends wasn't being honest you were right um you have now spotted these people and these friends who hasn't been honest and you're bringing out the truth your wishes and dreams is going to be coming out you're going to be successfully overcoming some horrible um, um deceptive play that your friends had created around you you realize that a friend was not honest and the truth came out <coughs> <coughs> worries is going to be over and there's a week that is a yes your worries is definitely going to be over nine a cycle is going to be ending a cycle is going to be ending you're going to be victoriously successfully overcoming your wishes and dream is coming true news is going to be coming in that's something that you have always wanted is going to be offered to you and it's going to be returned to you um because they have realized uh, how your friends have created a whole lot of issue so if you notice the nine of swords is in reverse your wishes and dreams is coming true you're successfully overcoming a conflict that was going on the energy of the sun is here and truth is being revealed some sort of a news is going to be coming in to say that you're successful over a deceptive play that people had created um and uh, um the wheel of fortune is here and the situation with the wheel of fortune is that this wheel of fortune is going to be bringing you back a whole lot of money because they have found out uh, um some money that you were supposed to receive they found out that you did not receive this money and it's because someone else had intercepted and took this money and now they're realizing you never received this money they're checking and realizing that you have never received this money it's as if someone um went and applied for money and saying that you were the one who asked them to do it and now they're realizing this person has never received this money this person has never asked anyone to um you know get money from uh, or uh, access any money and they're realizing that this person 
whoever had intercept and take some money, they're going to be catching this person and realizing that this person was dishonest. No one asked this person to um, get any money or to access any account or to do any taxes. And they're going to be realizing that these people have created some sort of horrible um, offense where they took money that was not theirs by using your information and taking um, and accessing money on the false pretend the truth is here and people and heads are going to be rolling because the universe has now make it clear so that people could see the injustice that was created and how people use their um their ways in order to accept money on the false pretend and took money um, on the false pretend using your name. And I see people are going to be realizing what people have done and how people have interact and take money on the false pretend. So I see, yay, yay, yay for you Capricorns. It is um, an horrible situation that has transpired. This week is going to be a week of yes. Um, your wishes and dream is going to be coming true. Truth is coming out. Light is been shed. Your worries is going to be over, and um, an end is coming in to some deceptive play that was created in the beginning. So they're going to be realizing that you, um, um Capricorns, some sort of a deceptive play or a deceptive play that was created by some of uh, that. Um, people had created in your world Capricorn and they're going to be trying um, to resolve this deceptive pay that people had done. They realize the horrible um, deceptive situation that people have created in your world and people are now going to be finding out and seeing the truth of what was transpired. So Capricorn, this is... um. Really, really a positive week. I love this week for you guys. This week is really a week of, uh, um, yes, it is a week of you, um, really taking back your power. It is a week of you understanding and seeing. So I see you're going to be victorious and successfully overcoming because, uh, um, some sort of a conflicts that was going on because of some sort of a deceptive play. I see finally. You're going to be receiving some sort of a news um, saying um, we realized that, um, you know, money was taken from you. Money was uh, uh, falsely. People and falsely use your name and uh, access a whole lot of money. We saw that money was stolen from you and we will return this money. And I see that people are definitely going to be working together in order to resolve this because they realize that a lot of you should have gotten stimulus check. You have never gotten stimulus check. Work finger, you have never gotten it because someone else has used your information in order to acquire wealth under your name and they're going to be finding this out. Success is here. It is a really powerful week, a week of emotion. Success is here. You're going to be emotionally sending your ground, releasing. Money is going to be returning to you. So a lot of you Capricorns, a lot of dishonesty was played against you Capricorns. And um, it's as if this year, and this is what I said to a lot of you in the year reading, go back and listen to the year reading, that a lot of things did not show up. And it's because it's as if people that was treated unfair all these years, um, it as if this year is going to be your year. So it's as if, um, because half the Capricorns um, do dishonest things to other people and half the Capricorns do good things and try to do good things. A lot of you that a banker or a financial institution has uh, stolen um, or a whole lot of money was stolen from your information or from your bank and financial institution. I see that this is going to be returned to you. This bank or financial institution have realized that you had never received the money. Um, then we see um, some sort of an investigation where they found out that friends uh, um, had work in collaboration 
in order to block you from receiving this money. And I see that they're going to be taking it down. They're taking it down because if you notice on Tuesday, some sort of a deceptive play with friends, but you're going to be successfully overcoming it because you're going to be finding out that friends had created some sort of a deceptive play and created some problems for you. So it is a wonderful week. The worries is going to be over whatever the worries is and was. I cannot um, wish you another, um, a better week than this week. This week is good. Whoever had problems with bank and financial institution where your information was used in that sort of a situation, they're going to be rebalancing this. If identity therefore, they're going to be rebalancing it. If they realize that someone else had um, uh, um, do taxes in your name, they are going to be um, rebalancing this. So um, whatever that was happening and was transpiring, um, when it comes to um, money being stolen from you or a whole lot of business money that was stolen from you is going to return. So they're going to be, you're going to be overcoming the, the deceptive play that has transpired, the seven of swords. Your wishes and dreams is going to come true. Uh, you're going to be receiving some sort of a uh, information from friends and um, trying to create some sort of a conflict, but you're standing your ground. You're deciding to move on a new start. You're going to be very, very successful. Money that was stolen or taken on the false pretense from you will be returning and you're going to be having that money to have a good start moving forward. And this is going to be good. Again, congratulations, Capricorn. If this is your birthday um, uh, week, the week from the 11th until the 17th, go back and uh, look for the birthday reading. Um, that is your birthday reading. I love you guys. Please thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Um, Capricorns, people are still trying to find the videos, but because um, uh, it's it's much better for you guys uh, um, to use one video for the weeklies because then you can kind of track through and find out uh, the other people instead of getting out of the video. All you have to do is use the time stamp. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Let other people know that they have to use the time stamp. I love you. Namaste. Welcome, Aries. I want to say thank you for being here. This is the second week of the year, 2021. The week begins from the 11th until the 17th. So Aries, in love, self-indulgent. A lot of you are self-indulgent in this week. Some sort of a light moment, some sort of unexpected changes is coming up for you, Aries. So, some sort of a transformation is going to be coming up for you, Aries. So be aware of this. Wow. Okay, so Aries, uh, um, you are dealing with some sort of a situation that you're moving in in this week. Okay, this is a week where some sort of information about the transportation is coming out. So something about your car is going to be coming out in this week. A cycle is going to be ending. Some of you Aries were interfering in a situation and they are going to be blocking you and moving you out of a situation. So I see some sort of a situation with a car. A lot of you Aries are having some sort of a situation with travel documents or a car and uh, that you have interfered in some sort of a situation. I see a lot of you Aries trying to stand your ground, but I see the sword of truth is coming out. Whether you are going to be using the sword of truth, but the sword of truth is coming out. So a situation with a car is coming to an end and some of you Aries might be blocked for not moving. I see you're standing your ground and with some sort of a travel document, some sort of a information that is going to be coming out. You Aries are trying to stand your ground in order to create some sort of a balance. Truth is coming out about how you have interfered in some sort of a situation. And your partner is, is going to be finding out some sort of information about some of you Aries. So I see some sort of a um, communication is going to be coming up where unexpected news is going to be coming out for you Aries. People are going to be finding out what you Aries has been doing and bringing an end. Some of you are going to be finding out some sort of information about your partner. However, that is coming up and transpiring. I see the situation is going to be transpiring. And uh, it is not a week of doing anything. 
no changes in this week this week is a week of communicating very clearly and a lot of you are going to be finding out that uh, some sort of an inf interference that you have interfered in a situation of your exits and in uh, a situation it is going to be coming out people are going to be aware of what you Aries have done okay so I see that you Aries whatever has happened and transpired people are now going to be realizing that you Aries had a uh, connected and created some sort of an issue some sort of a problems for other people truth is going to be coming out so they're finding out some sort of information about a car and <clears throat> a contract about a car or some sort of a travel documents that was uh, um not true a whole of you areas have a bur uh, burdens that you're carrying um ten of sword ten of wands People are finding out that you use someone information to get some sort of a travel documents and a car. People in power is finding out the truth about you, Aries, what you have um, done. You, Aries businessman, is going to be in some sort of a problem and issue. Now they are finding out how you, Aries, have collaborated um, with a Scorpion woman and created some sort of a problem. Um, it's, um, Aries that is married to a Scorpion woman, you are going to be finding out some sort of information about this person and what this person have done. So, some sort of a problem with a car. Um, I see um, a Pisces Cancer Scorpion woman have some sort of a problem um, with some sort of a trouble. They find out the lies and deceptiveness of this person. A whole lot of you are dealing with friends. A cycle is going to be over with friends. Uh, and I see they're going to be finding out about a whole lot of money um, that a cancer and you Aries uh, have stolen. Okay. Whatever is coming up and transpiring, they're going to be finding out uh, that you Aries has intercepted and took a lot of money that wasn't yours. Some sort of information is going to be coming in. If some of you are looking for a job. An opportunity or a job offer is going to be coming in. So what we see is burdens and a lot of you areas are all in your head. You're worried that people are going to be finding out something about a car. A lot of you areas have to pay a whole lot of money for a car. People have realized that you have used someone else's information in order to acquire a car, whether a lease car or buy car. They realize that you and your friends are not being very honest. So I see that this situation is going to be coming out and they're going to be finding out some sort of a false sight and deceptiveness with a contract and how some of you Aries have created some sort of a false um, contract in order to get a car. And they're going to be realizing that a Scorpion woman had helped you Aries in order to acquire this. So truth is coming out about a Pisces uh, um a scorpion woman this woman have uh, uh, given you and got you aries in some sort of a problem a cycle is going to be coming up for a scorpion woman people in power is seeing the deceptive play what the scorpion woman has done a whole lot of you aries are carrying a lot of burdens and a whole lot of you aries so are going to be finding out some sort of a deceptiveness of a pisces cancer or scorpion woman this is really coming up as a scorpion woman so a lot of you Aries are going to be dealing with a scorpion woman and is going to be finding out that a scorpion woman has created a whole lot of deceptiveness and people are now aware of what has transpired. A lot of you Aries and your partner had received money and people are going to be investigating where did you and your partner receive all this money from. So however I see Welcome Leos. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for wonderful likes, shares and support. All right, Leos, this is also um, the second week of the year 2021. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, this week is from the 11th until the 17th. Okay, so remember that. So what we see fire 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 energies um and i see that a pisces cancer or a scorpion person is going to be successfully overcoming some sort of a situation what you leos have brought you in 
So I see you, Leos, was in a karmatic relationship with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion person. Whoever this person is, is going to be um, getting out of this situation, um, letting go of this relationship. So I see the end of love for you and this person. Um, this person has recognized um, how you have gotten them in some sort of a problem. So you young women between the age of 18 and 45, what we see is the love that you had um, with a, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion person is a karmatic relationship. That relationship was not supposed to be and is going to be coming to this. So then we see outrageous thinking um, and... Um, Whatever conversation some of you Aries are having with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion young person, um, it is being recorded. And they, are rec they have been recording the conversation. You and this person have a karmatic relationship. And this karmatic relationship is from past life. It needs to end. A lot of you young, young women between the age of 18 and 45 had hoped for a new start. No, it's not going to be coming in. Six of Swords, you can see that. Um, an end is coming to a new start with a corporation institution for you and a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion person. So you, Aries, between the ages of 18 and 45, had to collaborate with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion and did something in a company or a tax company or so. And that's kind of sick. Then... You're, you both are kind of weird. You both are really um, nutty. Um, that you could um, use someone else's information and go by the tax company to acquire money under somebody else's name. You both are criminals and you both are mentally unstable. So this is a karmatic relationship. And uh, you had this relationship in a past life, you come back again. I see a, um, a government institution, and this looks like a tax company or a bank, is investigating you two, you two people and realizing an end is both coming up for you two people. This bank and this financial institution is going to be realizing the lies and deceptiveness of uh, um, um, you... Um, uh, Leo, between the age of 18 and 45, uh, and what you have done. Leo's 45 years and older, some sort of an unexpected uh, um, situation could be coming in where unexpectedly love is going to be offered to some of you, and uh, um, we're going to be going in this reading. Oh, that can eat. Um, uh, that can it. <laughs> um, again, shuffle the cards. So let me shuffle the cards and see. And sometimes I shuffle the cards, the same thing um, will come up. So let's see what is transpiring. So I see um, some regrets or um, some of you are not seeing it as regrets. Some of you are, it is what it is. Um, a lot of you Aries, um, could be paying back some money, okay, uh, to a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person. They realize that you, um, young Leos have took money that was for a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn woman. This woman and her partner is going to have a new start. This woman and her child is going to be having a new start. And uh, yes, I said it. <laughs> I said it, I said it, I said it. So what has happened and transpired is that you young um, Aries, uh, yes, you're in the reverse. Um, no new start. An end is coming up for you young Aries, whether man or woman. People are realizing what you have done. A whole lot of um, conflicts with a bank and financial institution. They're recognizing what you young Aries have done. And light has been shed on you young Aries, men and women is coming up between the ages of 18 and 45. And um, I see that a bank or financial institution is going to be standing their grounds and ending 
um, some sort of a, a collaboration and they're finding out uh, the lies and deceptiveness of this young Pisces Cancer Scorpion man that nobody asked him to access any account and no one else's business information. They are realizing that this young person had lied. So is this your son? Um, because this is a young person between the age of uh, uh, 18 and 45, whoever this person is. Um, is a child for some of you. For some of you, um, is your partner. For some of you, because it's a karmatic relationship, so it's coming up as your partner. Um, they're going to be finding out that this person had lied and access and use someone else's information to access and got money and people are now finding out uh, that this person has not been honest the nine of swords this person is very worried and they're also finding out uh, that this person was not honest they have been listening to telephone conversation from this person and is finding out the truth of what this person have done so young people between the age of 18 and 45 um, information, light has been shed. If you notice the hermit of light shedding on you, showing up what you have done. They have realized that you have created some sort of an issue and problem. You have no regrets because you think that there is a new start that is coming up. No, there is no new start that is coming up because of what you have done. People are now recognizing. A bank and a financial institution or a um, office is realizing and is ending a contract for you young fire sign people. Fire sign people between the age of 18 and 45, they are seeing what you have done. They realize that you have also been using negative forces to control a situation and they're going to be ending it. People are shedding light that you fire sign people have been using witchcraft to create some sort of a problem for other people and i see that they're going to be ending it an ending is coming in for you young people between the age of 18 and 45 especially you men because this is the night but um young men and women some sort of an ending is coming in um you are taught that you're going to be receiving some sort of a new start but i see the person who is receiving this new start that is upright is this older woman, a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. She and her family and her partner will receive love and a new start in a corporation institution. But for you, it's going to be a no because they realize that you young Aries have not been honest and have created a whole lot of problems. There is a, a lot of conflicts with a bank and financial institution. They found out that um, um, you young um, Leos, I said Aries, Aries and Leos, you and, and uh, Aries and, uh, and, and um, you Leos and uh, Aries have created a whole lot of conflicts and a whole lot of problem, have stolen money from a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn woman, an older woman. They are now finding out and realizing and seeing the truth of what was happening and transpiring. They are now aware of uh, um, what you young Aries have done. Truth is coming out and I see love is going to be offered to um, a Capricorn woman um, or a terrorist Virgo or Capricorn person. And if you notice this person is in the stability of your reading because a lot of you <clears throat> Leos was working against this woman for a very, very long time. And whatever you have done, I see um, people are going to be collaborating in order to resolve a situation what you Aries together with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion have created because they have now realized the lies and deceptiveness of this person. This person is worried. And for you, you don't regret what you have done. And it's just simply, um, it's kind of weird. And you need to take a good look at yourself because if you don't regret hurting another person, something is mentally off with you, okay? The end is coming in for um, um, you young Aries between the age of 18 and 45. The end is coming in 
for your business and for your cooperation. Light is now being shed in on you and people are now finding out uh, um, who you are and what you have done. A lot of you young Aries wanted some, young Leos wanted some sort of a new start with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. No, it's not going to be happening because this person is aware of who you are and the destructiveness of who you are. So it could be a mother, it could be um, a grandmother or so. But um, if you notice this woman turn her back, she's getting a new start. She, you wanted a new start with this person, but she's also turning her back. If you notice the end to end, and that's an end is coming up for you in a corporation and for your business. So whatever that some of you have done, um, you could have a supervisor that is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This supervisor is ending your contract. Okay, this supervisor is really ending your contract because of something what you have done. I see love is going to be coming in um, for a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person. They have realized the, on the, the, the injustice that you Aries have, that you Leos and Aries have put an older person through. And I see they, th this new love that is here is karmatic because some of you Leos want to return to some sort of a relationship and it's not going to be happening because uh, whoever this man is and whatever that was transpiring, they found out that a young Pisces Cancer Scorpion was very deceptive and whether it was in a bank financial institution or a government institution, um, they're finding out uh, um, some sort of a situation, some sort of a false play that has transpired. So when we look at uh, the energy of the house, um, the energy of the house is some sort of a conflict at home for you, Leo. So a whole lot of conflicts in the home. Um, if it's work, it's conflicts. If it's home, it's conflicts. So some sort of a conflicts at home and at work is here in this week for you, Leo. So you can see that situation is transpiring. A lot of you wants to work on your marriage. A lot of you, Leos, is uh, having is marital issues and you want to work on that. And it's as if some of you, Leos, uh, really want to balance out the situation with your child or with a, a, a partner, um, someone who you have not let go of. Um, you want to balance out a situation with. So I see you, Aries, are trying to work on some sort of a situation, trying to balance out uh, some sort of a situation and problem. And they are really realizing and finding out the truth and, and it's really on top of their games, so finding out what was transpired in a corporation um, and a whole situation, how you Aries could have gotten some sort of a information or documentation. They're realizing some dishonest play at a bank um, the tech and, and at a tax company, how you have uh, used someone else's information in order to acquire um, money, property, wealth, um, and you have worked together with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion person, and you and this person have had a karmatic relationship. Now, this person, a lot of you, wants to return and have. Uh, some sort of a relationship with this person or live with this person, but this person um, is going through a lot. So it's as if you want to get married to this person. This person cannot get married to you because this person is going through a lot of complication in their lives. So it is um, very obvious. So I see a lot of you Aries um, are dealing with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. And both of you as uh, took money that was not um, for both of you. And I see light has been shed on you both. A whole lot of conflicts and people are finding out that the money was for a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn and her family. And they're now realizing that you and an Aries or a Sagittarius has took money that was not yours. It was for an older Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn woman. And I see some sort of information is coming out. I see you have no regrets. Not even the regrets that you're losing your job. 
not in your little regrets that your business is going to be closed. It's as if you have no regrets what you have done. And it's as if you're not seeing that you have created a real criminal offense. It's as if you're not even aware of what is going on. A lot of you Aries was working some sort of a witchcraft against a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn woman. This woman is aware of what you were doing. And, uh, you know, the thing about it, um, um, fire sign people, um, you can think that people are not aware of what you're doing, but people are aware. You never gave life to this woman. You can't take this woman alive. And whatever witchcraft and negativity that you were working, it's going to be coming back to you. And neither is this woman is going to pay to do that bullshit because you're a sick person. It is wrong. It is wrong, ladies and gentlemen. The time you're using your money to create witchcraft against someone else, you'd go and educate yourself or do something constructive with it. A, a, a bank a bank is going to be finding out or a financial institution is going to be finding out that you and a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion had lied and has got money on the false pretend create false documentation. They know what you have done. They are on to you. And it is good for what has transpired because it is dishonest what you people have done. Then we see a cycle um, where um, a, a woman and her business, um, some of you Leos have stolen from a woman and her business and they're now recognizing and realizing and seeing the truth of what has happened for the rest of you area uh, leos that have been really working hard really creating uh, stability in your world really trying to help other people i see some new good opportunities is going to be coming in um for you guys because you guys have gone through like a whole um a whole um horrible time where people were just coming at you and uh, um, for you people, you guys are going to be really helped um, in order to balance out uh, some sort of uh, issues and problems that was created in your world, okay? So that is good. So, um, Leos, it is heavy. I don't know. Um, a lot of you fire sign people are getting some heavy energies in this year. Let's hope it will calm down soon. But it is what it is. Um, you can see the reading. A lot of you have problems with bank and financial institution. Um, and a lot of you, Leos, are going to be um, having some sort of a, um, trying to work out a situation with a whole Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. But this person is not open. Um, this person has closed the door. And I see you want to um, open up... Uh, um, some sort of avenues open up some sort of a, a situation for you, but it's as if this person is saying, no, I'm not open, um, to anything. Um, what's the ever to deal with you? So I see it's like you want to open up a dialogue between a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but this person have shut themselves down. Okay. I got a girl. I'm saying namaste until next time. Welcome Sagittarian, this is the second week of the year 2021. I want to say thank you for being here, thank you for being back. Sagittarian, the week is from the 18th, uh, uh, 11th of January until the 17th. I want to say thank you for being here, thank you for returning. All right, so you begin this way, week being victorious and successfully over um, a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person, some sort of a lawsuit, legal issue, a tower moment is coming down and justice prevail. Um, I see some sort of a situation with your mom is going to be coming up and I see truth is coming out about a young woman. This woman is between the age of 18 and 45. They are now finding out the truth about this young woman. This is a young lawyer that could have done some sort of a deceptive play. And now people are realizing who is this person and what this person have done. And I see a tall moment is coming down for this person. So congratulations, Sagittarius. You're coming in and coming in very, very strong. This is so good, Saggy. You are really coming in and coming in 
very strong. So what was happening and transpiring is that the week before there was some sort of a situation um, that was happening. And whatever that was happening, I see that you were dealing with a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. This person is a young lady between the ages of 18 and 45. People are now um, really realizing what this person have done and you're balancing out the situation. Whoever this person is, so some sort of a tower moment, some sort of a um, legal issue that was going on. People are now aware of who this person is and what this person have done. Justice is going to be coming up and you Sagittarius is going to be realizing um, what was transpiring, okay? So we come in with you being victoriously successfully balancing out um, a legal issue that was going on. For some of you, it's a legal issue. For some of you, it was uh, some sort of an un, um, uh, unalic situation that a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person have done. This is a young woman between the age of 18 and 45. Then I see some of you that is dealing um with a situation maybe this is your child some of you um this could be your child that is a young taurus virgo or capricorn person a tower moment is coming down for this person justice came upon this person because they have uh, now put the dots together and found out what this lady have done and what the, how this lady have created a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of issues and now the pieces are fitting the puzzle so, so some of you this young Taurus, this uh, young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person could have been your child and they are realizing or it could have been someone who you have worked with. But whoever this person is, uh, I see that they found out that this young lady has intercept and could have taken a whole lot of money um, from you Sagittarian. And I see you Sagittarian realize uh, what this person has done, that this person has took money on the false pretended. And I see now a tower moment and justice is coming down on this person because they are now recognizing who is this person and what this person has done. Wow. So this person could have seduced some of you, a whole lot of flirting, hanging up, a temptation, third party interference. All of that is happening, but I see a balance is coming in. I see the energy of coffee cups, meeting and connection. Um, a lot of feelings is coming up, friendship and that sort of a situation that is coming up in this week. So that is going to be good. Let's see what is happening. So I see a lot of you, Sagittarian, is going to be um, a top, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is going to be victoriously overcoming um, some sort of a situation um, with a whole lot of documentation. Uh, six of Wands. Good news is coming in that the end is coming in for um, some sort of a problem uh, that was created. The end is coming in. So I see a Taurus, Vir Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man. Some of you could be victorious over and receiving some news that the end is coming in for this man. The energy of the devil is here. Um, an end is coming in because there was uh, some sort of a uh, um, on a, um, this honest uh, play that has transpired. Information came out um, and information came out about a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man and his family. Some sort of information came out about this person and his family. And I see you, Sagittarius, is going to be victoriously overcoming. Double whammy, you have good news coming in and victory and success so over a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. Then we see um, some of you are protecting your family from a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. I see this lady have to pay back a whole lot of money. Whoever this young Taurus Virgo or Cap Capricorn person is have to pay back a lot of money. And I see some sort of a sadness, a tower moment is coming in for some of you Sagittarian. Now, whatever some of you Sagittarian have done, a tower moment is coming back. I see truth is here, justice prevail, and the truth is out about how some of you had worked together with a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person in order to create a whole other issue. So victory and success uh, over a uh, 
Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man is not showing up. It could be a businessman also. So you're victoriously, successfully overcoming this man and his family and what this man and his family has done to a lot of you. I see sadness for this Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man. A whole lot of sadness. Um, this man is now saddened because they found out what this man has done and you are victoriously overcome this man. Whatever information is coming to this man is not positive news because they are aware of this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man and what he has done. Now, some good news is going to be coming in for your family. Your family is going to be overcoming some sort of a problem that this man had created for you, Sagittarian. When we look at the energy of uh, um, some of you, your mom, some sort of a good news is going to be coming in for some of you, mom. Um, and, and you're going to find out that uh, your mom could be divorced in the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man. Or good news is coming in that the end is coming up uh, for some sort of a uh, deceptive situation. Um, someone that was um, holding you hostage, um, using negative forces and holding you hostage. I see an end is coming in. So some of you could have been in some horrible relationship. Um, your mothers, your mothers could have been in some horrible relationship. And you're getting good news that your mom is saying, hey, I've ended this marriage or this relationship. So um, you're very, very happy because your mom is going to be telling you about a hand. Some of you, your mom is going to be telling you that your little sister or that is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn was caught and have to pay back a whole lot of money. A tower moment came down on this person. Um, and some of you were like, you know, this person deserves what she gets because this person has been creating so much problems and issues and is always troubled. And, you know, forgiveness is the key. But I see um, whatever has transpired, I see your mom is going to be telling you about the hint of uh, um it could be a friend or a sister and um that they have caught her having documentation that she should not have and they started investigating this person and realizing that this person have created a whole lot of uh, um um problems by intercepting and taking documentation that was not theirs and i see that they really found out uh, that this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is not a family, that you are not connected to this person and you do not know this person and it's not your family. Then I see balance is going to be brought back because some um, some sort of information is going to be bringing balance. And I see that this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person had created a whole lot of issues and has took documentation and information um falsely and access documentation and information falsely and they realize that you are not connected to this person whoever this young woman is between the age of 18 and 45 is very troubled and you have no connection between this person and you realize that they're going to be realizing that you knew that this person is very troubled and how this person come on documentation because they're going to be investigating this person and finding out this person have a whole lot of documentation that they should not have. Okay. Because they are not uh, um, doing any case and they're not, uh, um, you know, you're not their clients or because this looked like a young lawyer and they realized that this young lawyer had so much information over people and their family that this woman should not have had because you do not have any connection with this lady. You never ask this lady to represent you. And I see that they are going to be making sure that this lady pay back all the money that she has taken on the false pretend. Um, and uh, it's as if some of you were working with this person. Um, you, all the ladies was working with this person and um, how does person get a whole lot of documentation? They're now investigating this lawyer because they realize, and I see a tower moment is coming down for this lawyer and this lawyer have to pay back a whole lot of money because they realize this lawyer has been accessing, um, people information 
and family information and using family information. I see sadness. I see sadness and regret for this person, but this is what they deserve. I see that this person has been doing this for a very long time. And for some of you, it's a young lord or for a young lawyer. For some of you, it's a friend. For some of you, it's your sister. For some of you, is um a relative. And this person is very deceptive. But they call this person because um people realize this person uh tried to pretend as if they were the lawyer for someone, and they realize that this 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 person has no connection with this person. This person is not speaking the truth. And then they start to investigate this person. And I see justice comes up because you Sagittarian is going to say, I don't know this person. I never asked this person to be uh, my solicitor, uh, solicitator. Never asked this person. Don't know who this person is. And they're going to be realizing that this person has been um, accessing people, family information, and has been using it and selling it. Do you see this? selling people family information so it is a young um taurus virgo or capricorn lawyer who have access a uh, documentation over family and they're now finding out because this is definitely a lawyer they're now finding out that this woman has been selling people family information and now they're finding out and i see a huge tower moment is going to be coming down i see sadness uh, for this person, a whole lot of sadness for this person, and I see justice. Justice is going to be prevailing over the situation. So, Saji, you're coming out and you're getting out. It is wonderful, it is powerful. Hint to this negative situation, lies and deceptiveness that was creating. People are now finding out how, how um people has been creating. And for you Sagittarius, there could be some sort of a tower moment. So be aware because I see that if this young lady is falling there, this young lady is taking down you Sagittarian also. All right, Saggy, please like, share us and thumbs up. Um, that will help these videos so that other people will find these video. Um, it is going to be a week of information. Um, some sadness for a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn man. Whoever this man is, um, you know, and is coming to this man because people have realized what this man have done. Again, an end is coming into a young Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn lawyer who have created a whole lot of problems, a whole lot of issues, have uh, information and was selling family information. People have now realized what was happening. I gotta go. Never stay until next time. Welcome, Ophiosis. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back, Ophiosis. All right. This is the second week um, of the year uh, 2021, uh, and the week begins from the 11th until the 17th. Okay. Ophiosis, Ophiosis, Ophiosis. What is happening? What is transpiring? So, Ophiosis, we see the end to some sort of a contract, the end to some sort of an engagement, the end um, is coming up. Um, for some of you, Ophiosis, you could be engaged with a Pisces. Um, I see the end um, to this engagement. So some of you, Ophiosis, maybe it's your daughter that is a Pisces or a Pisces Cancer or Scorpion. Sadness for this person and an end for their contract or some sort of an engagement. So Opio says, this could be your daughter, but it could be also that some of you are in a relationship with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion person. An end, I see you're bringing an end to their contract, uh, um, a engagement or a marriage, or um, but I see sorrows for a young Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpion person and their family. Sadness is here because some sort of a contract or some sort of a um, connection, an end is here for this cancer so you ophiosis could have created this end for this cancer because uh, you realize some sort of a deceptiveness um it could be someone that you were married to and you realize that this person has not been honest and you're ending 
the marriage or the engagement or the relationship. It could be happening to your daughter. So it is a cancer, but Pisces or um or scorpion between the ages of 18 and 45 heartbreaks sadness and to their contract so their family could be going through this because of something that they have done and their family is now affected by this so let's see we have the energy of the magician and things are going to be going very very fast in this week there's no question some of you are going to be starting over some of you um are going to be reconnecting with your soulmate twin flame. Um, so I see this is happening. I see sorrows for a family. What um, so you obvious says your family could be going through some sorrows, and the sorrows is caused by a Pisces cancer or a scorpion, a little girl or woman between the ages of 18 and 45. So whatever this person have done has caused you and your family a whole lot of problems and now they are in some problems themselves. So the energy of the magician new start is going to be coming up. Um, heartbreaks with some sort of a financial situation. Um, where a um this this water sign um young woman have created some problems for your family. I see news is going to be coming in. Um, and this news is going to be positive because it's um news from a family member, uh, ex. Um, a lover, um, um, reconnection of family. Family is going to be reconnected with you because if you notice information is coming in, I see, um, whoever that was having problems with their, um, relationship, not to worry. Um, these problems and situation is going to be resolved. Okay. Um, the four of swords, whatever that was transpiring, the four of swords. Some of you need to take some sort of a rest. Some of you could be dealing with some sort of a problem and you are worried too much. Some sort of a problem with a corporation institution is at then you're going to be getting out of it and your wheel, your fortune is going to be returned. A corporation institution have seen some on um some situation that was going on and the secrets that was kept about a whole lot of money. Now people are finding out and seeing that uh, money is going to be returned to you, Ophiosa. So this is good. Um, they're going to be finding out that uh, a corporation had not um 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 whoever this woman is, a Aries Leo or Sagittarius person, they're realizing that this Aries Leo or Sagittarius person has took money that wasn't theirs, and a corporation institution um is going to be returning it now. Um, this could be you ladies. You ladies could be having some sort of a problem with your marriage. Okay. So ladies 50 years and older could be having problems with your marriage. I see a judgment call is going to be coming out for you ladies. If your child is a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion, I see the Knight of Pentacles. Um, judgment call is coming up on the a Capricorn person. They're realizing what this Capricorn person has done. And I see now that a young cancer person realizing that a Capricorn person is caught. They could be the next one. So it could be that you're an investigator and you have in, been investigating a group of people or two people. Now, these two people, one is a Capricorn um, whether uh, between the age of 18 and 45, these two people are between the ages of 18 and 45 and they're two women. And I see whatever is transparent, especially for this person, um, this person, their contract is going to be ended because uh, they found out that this person, um, either the contract or the business or whatever business association, um, and that this person was also intercepting and taking information. Now I see worries because a lot of you Ophios has found out oh, um, something about a young the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person, whether man, woman, uh, man or woman, and uh, this person, what this person had done, um, the secret of this person, documentation, information, um, that this person has acquired over a family and 
use this information to acquire some sort of, and I see heartbreaks. Heartbreaks is coming up because uh, it could be your child for some of you, and it could be your child and your child's partner. So whatever is transpiring, I see judgment call. A judgment call is really coming out, and I see you ladies are going to be saddened over what has transpired. So a corporation has found out some sort of a secrecy from in the past about a whole lot of money, money that some of you should have gotten. You and your partner should have gotten a whole lot of money. And I see the money went somewhere else. Now, how is it? Is it that you ladies, because you ladies are going to be having some sort of a judgment call with the family. So ladies 50 years and older, um, some sort of an unexpected judgment call with your um, your husband or your kids is going to be transpired. And a whole lot of problems is coming up because a corporation institution have found out that an Aries Lee or a Sagittarius person uh, lied. They and their family had lied and used someone else's family information too. And this is secrecy because this information was sold to this family. And they're going to be realizing that it's a lawyer. This lawyer... Whoever this lawyer is, this lawyer had sold this fire sign woman the information. So here we're seeing that a corporation institution have come and realized some information about um, maybe it's you Ophiosus or a Aries the or Sagittarian person. That information was sold to this person in order for her and her family. And now there's heartbreak because no information is coming out. And the secret is that they're going to be finding out that documentation and information was given to this person by this lawyer. This is a Capricorn lawyer. And they're now finding out the disruptiveness of this Capricorn lawyer, that this Capricorn lawyer has been selling family information. So if you notice, go and listen to the Sagittarius reading because it was in the Sagittarius reading. You are Ophiosa, so you have mirror um, effect. Now, whatever this legal issue is all about, I see you, you fire sign people are connected and caught up. And I see a judgment call is coming down. And either you are going to be telling the truth and said, listen, um, this is the lawyer that sent me the documents or this is the lawyer that access the documents, but I see now truth is going to be coming out. So what we are seeing here is the energy of the flamingo is speaking up and saying, hey, um, the information came from this um, Taurus work or a Capricorn person. That is the person that gave me the information. So I see a whole lot of situation about money. A bank and financial institution is here and is recognizing what was going on. So, it is a lot that is going on. There is no question, but there was some false play that was created. And I see, I see secrets, secrets, heartbreaks is coming out. A judgment call on a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person have to pay a family back a whole lot of money because they've caused a family a whole lot of problems and issue. Okay. Legal issues is going to be coming up because they are realized. Because so you see, you have the four. The fours are here. And it's something to do with some sort of a legal issue and some sort of a dirty lawyer. Not very good lawyer. Very dirty lawyer. And they're recognizing um, that this lawyer has been dirty for a long time. And they were waiting in order to catch this person. So um, a tower moment is going to be coming down for this dirty lawyer. But I see that they find out the connection between this lawyer and uh, um, this cancer. And now the cancer is kind of, um, you know, trying to see when when they're going to be coming for um, her. But the thing about it is that uh, <laughs> she is not going to be seeing it 
when it's coming she had no idea so i see that this uh pisces cancer scorpion is now you know watching watching when is her turn but her time is going to be i think that you know it's going to be the worst because uh they're now connecting and finding out and seeing the dots and realizing that this situation have been going on for quite some time and it's as if government or people um is wondering why how we have not seen this i mean how could this be going on and we have not seen this and a whole lot of money was made and they're going to be realizing that this um Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person had made a whole lot of money. I see you ladies are really sudden. You people are really sudden because you have lost a whole lot of money now because people are coming down on you and recognizing that you're not the person. They are coming down on you and recognizing that you are not the person. And I see truth is coming out. And I see that you lady are going to be speaking the truth and telling the truth about who this young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is. So, and really speaking the truth in order to resolve a situation. So I see um, some sort of a karmatic situation from the past is coming back that a lot of you have to deal with. And it has to do with family situation. It has to do with your kids and it has to do with your husband. And I see that you ladies are going to decide... I need to resolve this situation because it is taking um, my life. And I see this karmatic situation, a whole lot of information about the past is going to be coming back and about a whole lot of money and a family member and a whole lot of money and what this family member have done. I see secrets. They're going to be finding out a whole lot of secrets about a whole lot of money. Heartbreaks is coming up and this heartbreaks is going to be powerful because this artwork is going to be affecting a Libran, a young Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn, and an Aries and a Cancer because their time is coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish you the best. Um, I would say to you ladies, give up these people because you are going to be ending up in um, the, the, on the wrong side of the fence. These young people have been doing this for a very long time. However, they start to begin to access and do this and, and get away with it. It is time that someone came in and showed the light. And I see people came in, showed the light, and a lot of them are going to be in problems. I want to say to each and every one of you, thumbs up, thumbs up. I will speak to you next week. Go and um, check out the Sagittarian reading. Um, namaste until next time. Welcome Pisces, this is the second week of the year, 2021. I want to say thank you for being here, thank you for being back. This week is going to be so fantastic, healthy choices Pisces. So I see a lot of you Pisces are going to be making healthier choices and peace is going to be coming in. You're going to be finding out and realizing um, that you are going to be making a whole lot of changes. Your wishes and dreams is coming through Pisces. I see they found out um, about the deceptiveness of a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man. And I see that you're standing your ground to what this man has done. Um, I see abundance is going to be coming in for some of you. Um, they realize that a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man has created some sort of a deceptiveness in order to access abundance. So they realize that this businessman is a criminal. This businessman has been using people and, uh, um, you know, taking from people. And I see they found out the truth. Who is this businessman and what this businessman has done? The King of Swords is here. And I see um, you Pisces are dealing with an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra. Um, the <clears throat> these are two men, an older man and a younger man. Some sort of an investigation that is transpiring the Seven of Swords, um, a lie and deceptiveness from a Taurus businessman, a, a Capricorn businessman. Whoever these people are, I see truths are coming out. So I see you're going to be victorious, successful, happiness over a King of uh, Pentacles, a man, 
uh, 50 years and older, 45 years and older. This man, whoever this man is, I see they investigated this man and find out some sort of a deceptive play of this man. Peace is finally going to be coming true. And uh, number nine, you begin the week with nine and you end the week with nine. Endings are coming in in this week, Pisces. Be aware of this because a whole lot of endings is coming in for you, Pisces. So I see some sort of an investigation and they're going to be finding out something about an, an Aquarian Gemini or Libra man. This man could be investigating this um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man. Then they're going to be finding out that a young Aquarian um, could have created a whole lot of issue. Um, whoever this young Aquarian is, they're going to be realizing that a young Aquarian <clears throat> have created a whole lot of issues, a whole lot of problems. True, they're coming out. Keep up the positive mindset, um, Pisces, because you're going to be manifesting what you need. Gratitude and bliss is yours in this week. Now, stand your ground. You stood your ground, Pisces. You stood your ground and you're about to succeed. Um, you're going to be overcoming some sort of a deceptive play that was at hand with your work and with your business. And you're now realizing um, who these people is and what was happening. You're standing your ground and I see hardship is here for an Aries Leo or Sagittarius man. I see a lot of you Pisces who are in a long relationship or a marriage, I see that some sort of a, um, protection could be coming in for you Pisces, okay? Um, I see that they're investigating a group of people, um, a young um, Aries Lee or Sagittarius person or Gemini. Your burdens are going to be over um, for some of you. And a new start is going to be coming in. Now, they are investigating a young Gemini. And they're trying to, um, uh, I say young Gemini. So, um, they're investigating a young Gemini, Pisces. Whether this young Gemini is. So, I see they're going to be finding out the connection with this young Gemini and a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man. People in power is finding out the truth and is seeing what has happened and what has transpired. So truths are coming out and I see a lot of people are bringing peace to a really horrible situation that was created. Um, they are now really finding out how you, um, Pisces was used and, um, used and this is really going to be coming out in this week. So when we see, I see people in authorities finding out Something that you Pisces were used in order to create some sort of a situation, some sort of a um, use you to acquire something, use you to create some sort of a problems. And I see this is going to be coming out. So a lot of you are going to be overcoming a situation, some sort of an investigation. This is the energy of the travel, the, the, um, um, the chariot moving forward, overcoming a situation with a young um, Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person. Whoever this person is, have uh, created a whole lot of problems. And I see an end is coming into your burden. So, um, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn man is having some sort of a problem. Um, it's coming up um, as a Virgo or a Capricorn man could be having some sort of a problem. Um, and I see a lot of you. Work is here in this week and you have no regrets. You're realizing some sort of a deceptive play at the workplace and you're standing your grounds, okay? You're moving forward, standing your grounds. And this is so good because whatever is transpiring is as if you Pisces are really standing your grounds and not taking the hit for anyone. You're really realizing that uh, you have to stand your grounds and protect the people around you who you love the most. You and your partner is going to be very successful, especially Pisces that was going through problems, um, marriage issues, or people are just working against you. Um, you're going to be resolving this and getting out of the situation. They have found out the deceptive play that has transpired. And I see that you 
and your partner could be going in business together or you and your partner business, they're going to be finding out that people try to create some sort of a problem, copy your identity, copy your information, copyright um, situation, and they really find out the lies and deceptiveness of these people. Then we see an, an investigation is on a Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra. Whoever this person is, it could have been your boss or your supervisor at the workplace. They're realizing that this person had collaborated with other people to create some sort of a deceptive play. Truth is going to be coming out. If your boss is a Gemini, whether a man or a woman, these people are not nice. And I would say to you, let it go. Okay, let it go. Um, then we see the king of uh, this energy is the energy of uh, um, a... Uh, there, there is some, uh, there is some sort of an investigation that is going on around you guys. A lot of you are in a relationship with an Aquarian, Gemini, or Aquarian, Gemini, or Libran person. Um, these two businessmen are now in some serious problems because they realize that these two businessmen have access, some sort of information and documentation on the false height and now they have a come down on these two businessmen. And one is an Aquarian, Gemini, and Libra. The other one is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. They are carrying some sort of a burdens for um, accessing some sort of a business information, documentation, uh, information that they should not have had. And it has to do with another person and their company, and they're finding out the truth of these two businessmen together. A lot of you are trying to stand your ground. You need to, um, you're open for anything. A lot of you could be looking for a new job and it's open for whatever that comes. So I see, um, um, that a lot of you are realizing, um, that you're really now realizing that people are not who they say they are. And a lot of you, um, is waking up from, a, from a dream. To, a lot of you have been dreaming. A lot of you have been dreaming in the sense that you really believe um, in people. And I see that so, especially some of you young men are going to be waking up and realize that, uh, um, you know, dream time is over because uh, um, whatever that you were doing, you young men, you collaborated with people. And now you find out that the people that you collaborated with these were people that was unsavory and now you are found in a, in a place where you are really um, under some sort of investigation and some problems because you have access and acquire some sort of information on the false side for some of you. At the workplace, I see a lot of you are just going to walk away and a lot of you are thinking, you know, it is good. It is good for what has transpired. Oh my God. Ooh, I'm so glad that I am out of this. I'm letting go and I'm out of this. And, you know, a lot of you are really, really happy. I see that they're going to be finding out the collaboration of a um, Aquarian Gemini. It could be an, an Aquarian Gemini Libra person and a lawyer. And I see they have a whole lot of burdens to deal with now because they realize that the lawyer was connected to a Taurus Virgo Capricorn man and this lawyer has um, acquired or access some sort of information and I see people in power is realizing who is this lawyer and what has happened and transpired and how this lawyer could have had this information and they're going to be investigating um, a, 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 a Aquarian Geminis or Librans are under investigation whether father, son, or whether someone that has acquired a lawyer, they are now um, investigating the lawyer and is finding out of the situation that has been happening and transpiring. So I see a lot of you Pisces are going to really stand your grounds in relationships. So some of you um, Pisces is going to be ending a relationship with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man. I see this man is... Um, in some sort of a burden because this man is on the investigation. Some of you could find out that uh, if you were in a relationship with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man, um, you're going to be realizing that this man is on the investigation for 
um, a, a huge crime that this person has created. Then we see with the work situation, a lot of you are just going to walk away, let it go. So you're going to be victoriously overcoming some sort of a burdensome situation that a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn man has created for a whole lot of you and the deceptiveness of this man and how this man career, um, you know, this man is, um, have a shadow company. For some of you, this man has a shadow company. For some of you, this man has been working against you for a very long time. I see you're going to be standing your ground and say, no, I'm ending this relationship. No, I'm ending this marriage. I see you're really ending some sort of a marriage and relationship with a Virgo man. Okay, it's coming up as a Virgo man for some of you. And you're going to be standing your ground. And I see you know that it's not going to be easy, but you realize that it is best to remove this man. I see that some of you are going to be go, going back for your ex-husband that is an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libran, because you're going to be realizing that uh, that person will more have your back than this person, because this person has used you and got you in some sort of a legal, um, serious legal issue. So what a week, what a week, what a week, but it is going to be okay. A lot of you are going to be having issues. If you're in a relationship with an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra, um, you're going to be having some sort of issues and burdensome problems with this person. So be aware of this. So don't forget, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. It is a week. Don't do anything in this week. It's not a week to do anything. I would not. Um, it is best, it is a good week, Pisces, but don't make any decision in this two, um, week. If you're thinking about doing something, go for it directly, but don't make any decision in this week. Gotta go. Thumbs up. Namaste until next time. Welcome, Cancers. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is uh, the um, second week of the year, um, 2021. I want to say thank you for being here. Cupid is here, Cancers. Oh, have faith. Love is coming in. Surprise. Okay. Surprise meeting, Cancers. Cupid is here. So, Cancers, who is looking for love, we can see it there. You could be meeting your soulmate or twin flame. New love is coming in for you guys. But for some of you, there is going to be breakup and separation. We can see it here that there could be some sort of a breakup and separation um, for um, some of you. All right. I don't know what is going on with you ladies between the age of 18 and 45, but something is going on because I see a whole lot of things is transpiring. So movement is uh, moving forward. Um, some sort of a communication. New love is coming in. Some of you could be moving in with your partners. I see a lot of you are standing your ground and protecting yourself from a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion person and your relationship. Whoever this person is and whatever is going on, um, you're protecting yourself from this person. Um, I, you, Cancer, uh, I see you want a new start with a relationship or a new start uh, with your soulmate, Twin Flame. Go for it. Go for it. Don't mess up any other book. Um, and I see some, some of you are standing your ground. Communication is going to be key with uh, some sort of a relationship, some sort of a new love that is coming in. This week is all about new love for the people who are looking for love or the people who are in love. Um, new love is coming in and this is going to be good. Um, uh, yeah, a new start with a relationship. A new um, start that is going to be happening and transpiring. So this is going to be good. A lot of you are standing your ground and communicate clearly with a new love that is coming in your life. So that is good. So I see multiple opportunities. A lot of you are going to be, it's going to be a busy week. Uh, a lot of you, they found out that a lot of you have not been honest and have taken money that wasn't yours. And they see that you ladies um, um, well, um, took some money that wasn't yours. So I see that they're going to be finding out that a scorpion woman, whether um, there is a scorpion woman 
um and a young scorpion that has took money that wasn't there so i see a whole lot of worries for some of you young ladies are worried and truth is coming out about you young ladies and your partner and your family and i see a whole lot of information and documentation they're going to be finding out that you young ladies as um took and um you young ladies have took this information and documentation and i see um that news is going to be coming in over what has happened and transpire um i see that you cancers they're going to be realizing some sort of on this honest play of you cancers you cancers have not been honest some of you now all of you some of you and i see there are going to be there's some sort of information and some of you want a new start with a libran um or um if you were in a relationship with a gemini they're ending this relationship so whoever was in a relationship with a gemini or a marriage with a gemini they're ending it they want to have nothing to do with you um let's not go into that so um let's just move in and look and see what is transpired so you're coming in the week where people are finding out a whole lot of deceptiveness uh, with a whole lot of money cancers whatever that was happening and transpiring i see you're trying to move forward and try to run away from the problem because you don't want to deal with the problem but i see people are going to be standing their grounds in order for your um cancers to show up and um be the availability of this problem then i see a lot of you um young ladies are worried worried because your friends so, and a scorpion woman is finding out that you were the one that took some money and you ladies between the age of 18 and 45 is very now worried because they're investigating and finding out that you a scorpion was the one who took a whole lot of money i see a scorpion woman 50 years and older is going to be speak up and is going to be telling the truth about where some money went and that you had took money that was not yours um people are now finding out uh, that a young scorpion woman um they're they're standing their ground because some of you cancer have money for a young scorpion woman and it's going to be speaking up and they're going to be realizing that you cancers and a young scorpion woman has created some sort of a deceptiveness uh, where you took a lot of money and intercept and took a lot of money then we see the energy of uh, truths coming out about uh, you and your friends so um you young cancers truths are coming about you and your friends and i see your friends are going to be speaking up because they want to have a new start and they're going to be throwing you under the bus uh, because i see that they realize that you have uh, stolen information and documentation of a family or of a couple and they're going to be realizing that you were the one who have access the couple computer telephone and documentation and they're going to be finding out and i see your friends are going to be showing you up a lot of you cancers your friends are going to be dropping you and showing you up for what you have done because you have gotten yourself your friends in a whole lot of problems so um your husband is going to be finding out and is going to be accessing your computer or telephone and realize that you are the person that is always uh, either um sending uh information um uh and has been intercepting information and falsifying information and they're going to be finding out some of you can some of you cancers um so be aware of that new love is coming in for some of you um to be honest a whole yeah new love is definitely coming in for a lot of you um some of you cancers wants to reunite with a gemini this person does wants to reunite um some of you cancers i see that a woman um whether this woman is a pisces cancer or a scorpion woman is going to be really 
um, communicating and letting people know that you have information that you should not have uh, and you have been stealing and falsifying information and intercepting people information and they're going to be finding out that and you and this is only for young ladies between the ages of 18 and 45 um, young lady, please take a good look at yourself. You are mentally unstable. You are not an investigator. You're not a police. You're not um, um, a detective. You're not a, a lawyer or you're not even a tinder. You're a criminal. You need some help. You're mentally unstable and you need some help. That was only for um, young ladies between the ages of 18 and 45 that have been creating problems for other people, 18 and 35, who have been, uh, um, uh, you know, it's, you have, you're seriously mentally not well. People, normal people doesn't do those things. So if you think that you're cute or you think that, oh, I, I can do it because I can, and you think that witchcraft is going to help you, you have no idea. Because the storm and the thunder is going to be coming down on you. For the rest of you cancers, I see some of uh, some of you are really, really going to be um, reconnecting with people from the past. A lot of you are going to be helping to resolve some sort of a deceptive play. A lot of you um, ladies 50 years and older is going to be finding out uh, um the deceptiveness of a whole lot of money and you're going to be standing your grounds because this money was um was was taken from your account so you ladies between the age of and um, all the ladies you're going to be finding out that a lot of money was taken from your account and it has to do with a young um um a young person who took the money from you all the latest account okay a young person did it it's a very disturbed person and I cannot imagine that this person don't really realize that they need to check themselves in a mental institution because they're really a little bit off then we see some sort of a, um, a situation where a scorpion is going to be overcoming a horrible horrible ordeal that you um uh cancer have placed them through and you know thanks especially um that is just so good some of you your friends are going to be really realizing how off you are and friends are just going to be um backing away from you because they realize that you are really off and that is only for the young people Okay, then they're going to be finding out the truth why you got married to a person that you got married, that you only got married for papers. Here it is. Can't say it anymore. You, so the truth, the truth is coming out. I see you're worried because people now realize that you never love the person you got married to. This is only, ladies and gentlemen, for women between the ages of 18 and 45. They're going to be finding out that you never got married to this person for love, but only for papers in order to stay in a country and have access. And I see they realize that you only got married to someone for documentation and not for love. And I see that now you're worried because they're realizing and it's as if whoever did this, so they're now realizing what was happening and transpiring. I see this person is going to leave you and find someone else. And this person, whoever this person is, is living in a country that is really easy to divorce and you don't get anything. Um, I see this person's family is going to be protecting their friends and family is going to be protecting them because they realize what you have done. All the ladies, I see you're going to be communicating and really speaking up and letting people know um, that, you, you know, your information um, was stolen or your information was accessed. I see a lot of you are going to be protecting your family and your loved one, especially older people. I see you're really going to be communicating and protecting your kids because you realize uh, 
that they have created some sort of a deceptiveness again. So um, your kid that is a scorpion and I see that you're going to be protecting your kid and I see that um, they're going to be realizing that a young cancer person it's not your 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 children friend this little girl is a criminal and she needs to be put down okay um it is a criminal and whatever this person has done this person has took a lot of money from you older people account and they're going to be going back and tracking it and realize how sick this young person is i mean jesus um what's happening I mean, these people are supposed to be picked up and put in a mental institution and not being left free to roam. And uh, I mean, this person is sick. It's like the devil child. God damn it. <laughs> so, oh my God. Ooh. Oh my God. So, I wonder what is really going to be happening with this case because... Um, when people are looking at people that is so, they need to get them in a mental institution because they are going to be creating more and more problems. But I mean, what is going to be happening? Universe source. Wow. So, um, a new start will come up for a Gemini, but not for you cancer. So. Um, yeah, not for you, Cancers. Whatever is happening and transpiring, you, Cancers, I don't see a new start coming up for you, Cancers. I see they're going to be finding out the truth what you, Cancers, have done. All right, I gotta go. Um, Cancer lady, 50 years and older, the money will return to you and a whole lot of love and support. So cancer ladies, uh, 50 years and older, money will return to you and a whole lot of uh, um, help and stability um, is going to be returned. All right. So I got to go. But I'm saying namaste until next time. And um, remember that there is only love. All right. Got to go. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Scorpions, welcome. This is the second month of the year 2021. This is the week of the 11th until the 17th. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Let's see what's coming up. So we have the energy of the sunglasses. A lot of you are looking um, for a um, stable a relationship with someone who is financial stability. And I see soulmates would be coming in in this week. A lot of you Scorpions have to pay a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn, a whole lot of money. They have found out what you Scorpion have done to this person. I see an end is coming up for an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person. A cycle is over for this person. They have realized who this person is and what this person have done to a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn person. Some of you could have been connected with this person. Failure is here for a... Aquarian, Gemini, or Libran. Whoever this Aquarian, Gemini, or Libran is, um, they have created some disturbing situation. And I see an end is coming in. So if you were in a relationship with an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person, they're finding out the truth of this person. An end is coming in um, for this person. A wheel of cycle. A cycle is going to be over. And I see that... Um, an um, Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra is a fail, um, as a failed a situation and truth has been shared that this woman, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person was uplifted a whole lot of money and people are now aware of what has transpired. Let's see the end. A cycle has come to an end and I see you Scorpion is walking away. They are recognizing that you, Scorpion, has not spoken the truth. Um, I see they find out the truth about what you, Scorpion, has done in the past. Then they are realizing that you, Scorpion, um, that a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is your mom. 
I see, yes, here it is. So you Scorpion, um, your mom is a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. You haven't spoken the truth. People are now finding out. I see a whole lot of money is going to have to be returned. Um, whoever um you are, you scorpions, I see a transition is coming up because people are finding out uh, something about a project. Love is going to be offered um to a Pisces Cancer Scorpion woman because they realize uh, how this woman was untreatedly in justice. Justice came in and is going to be helping this lady because they realized that this lady was untreatly, um, was unfairly treated. So a lot of you scorpions, there's a lot of secrecy um, um, with you scorpions about a whole lot of money, a whole lot of money that you should have paid to a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. There is a whole lot of secrets uh, um, around uh, you and this person that you'd never Pay this person the money that was supposed to be paid. Truth is coming out and I see people are now aware of what was happening and transpiring. And I see a lot of you at some sort of a secret um, situation with a whole lot of money that you have gained. And I see truth is going to be coming out. So I end this coming in. I see they have realized a, a whole lot of uh, deceptive play um, with a whole lot of money. Um, and I see this money is going to be returning um, to this uh, lady because a lot of you, your mom, um, some sort of information about your mom and a whole lot of money that was left. Uh, I see truths are coming out. Uh, and you, Scorpion, uh, could have worked against your own mom. It's kind of sad situation. Some sort of a project. I see love is going to be offered because people are going to be recognizing that some of you are doing um, a, a good work. Some of you who are building your own business and is creating your own wealth. I see um, people are going to be loving what you're doing. A lot of you are going to be offering love to a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person um, because this person had showed up. Um, a Gemini woman, a whole Gemini woman um, for what she has done. And I see a lot of you, Scorpion, is really showing love and affection to a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person. Truth is coming out. And with this truth that is coming out, I see whoever, um, uh, this could be a lawyer for some of you, but this could be an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person. Some sort of a justice is going to be coming in for a Capricorn person. And I see people are really going to be showing this Capricorn person, this woman, a whole lot of love because they realize that this woman was um, um, horrible, horrible, treated horrible. Whatever the issue and the situation is, people are going to be recognizing how horrible this lady was treated. And I see an end is coming up for an older uh Aries the or Sagittarius woman. Um, also and it's going to be coming up for an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person. Lies and deceptiveness over a whole lot of money. And I see love is going to be offered to this lady. Whoever this lady is, the story is very Capricorn lady. Justice comes up and is going to be showing love to this person because they realize that this person was uh, um um Horrible, treatedly, unfairly, um, really treated unfairly. So we're seeing, seeing the truth. The truth is going to be coming out about your mother, Scorpion. And uh, um, whatever is happening and transpiring, some sort of information from the past is coming out about your mom. Then we see the... Uh, that people are going to be finding out that some of you scorpion were not being very honest or i see that some of you scorpion is going to be realizing that a taurus virgo or capricorn person was not treated honestly and was treatedly unfair and i see some of you are going to be making sure that this situation is being balanced because they're going to be recognizing um what this lady has done to help some of you. So truths are coming out. And people are going to be finding out. That some of you scorpion mother. Was not being honest. 
I see the energy of the world where a cycle is going to be ending for some of you, Scorpion. Um, and so Scorpions that is in a relationship with an Aquarian, Gemini or Libran woman, a cycle is going to be ending with this woman. The, things are going to be happening. A whole lot of money is going to be returned to a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. Some of you, Scorpion, have to pay a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn a whole lot of money um, because they realize that you, Scorpion, as also take money from this person and they're going to be realizing what you scorpion um have done but it is a, a situation where a lot of you scorpions are going to be showing love and affection maybe this is a sister or a relative but you're going to be um realizing that this person is uh, really um someone who is just really open and really has no no like this person has no sort of a oh this honest thing about them they're just just plain and open and i see some sort of a healing between you and your mom could be coming in whoever is dealing with a um, Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra, is this your mom? I see they're going to be coming down on this person. Um, justice is here. And it's as if justice is here for two people. Two people that was unfairly treated um, badly. And as if justice is coming in and said, hey, it was, it was wrong what happened to one, but also... Uh, it was wrong what happened to the other. So it is some sort of a serious situation that is happening and transpiring. And the energy of the world is ending a cycle where a lot of people had stolen a lot of money. And how these people had take money and how they have um, acquired a whole lot of money on the false pretend and i see this is going to be um returning a lot of you scorpion is going to be repaying a long last uh, um loan that was there some of you um is going to be receiving some money that was owed to you this money is going to be returning a lot of you scorpion business people they're going to be finding out a whole lot of secrecy about your um your assets and they're going to be realizing that a Taurus or a Capricorn person was was speaking the truth about some really false play that was going on and they're going to be realizing that this person is aware of uh, um some um this honest play that was created. A whole lot of you are going to be offering a Taurus River or a Capricorn person a whole lot of love and some sort of a transformation because this person showed up some sort of information, showed up what was going on. And uh, definitely, definitely, I see truths came out. So justice comes, but justice is here. And it is a love of, you know, it's as if you Scorpion dread a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn through a whole lot of situation. And now justice is in their favor. Whew, I gotta go. Expect a lot of money, Scorpions. A lot of money is going to be coming up. Um, you could be meeting your soulmate. Um, some of you could be finding your soulmate that is a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person. Um, that can also be, but I see, um, your soulmate is coming up in this week. I gotta say namaste until next time.